Find rest for your soul as you listen to this peaceful Bible meditation for sleep and relaxation. Click the Join button below to upgrade to an Abide YouTube channel membership. Unlock channel perks like early access to new videos before they premiere, members-only videos, live chat premieres, discount codes, and more. For access to more Bible meditations that can be enjoyed ad-free at a length and audio background of your choosing, download the Abide app from the link in the description below or in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Welcome to this sleep story from Abide, a comforting Bible meditation to help you relax and fall asleep. I am Nene Woko. Tonight's story, Healed by Jesus, takes us to a life-changing moment in time as a suffering woman takes a bold step of faith and reaches for the only one who can heal her. But before we get into the scriptures, please get settled into bed and take a few deep breaths to help you relax. Release everything that is on your mind. Clear your thoughts of all distractions by focusing only on Jesus. Whisper his name. Invite the Lord to be with you as you keep your mind fixed on him. Ask for him to fill the room with his peace and his presence. Breathe in and release your breath slowly. Be assured tonight that Jesus loves you, even though you've probably heard that phrase many times. It is a powerful truth you can count on. Jesus loves you. He knows your name. Amidst all the people in the world, he knows exactly what you need. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. Pull the soft covers around you and lie very still for a moment. Think only of the gentle Savior who loves you and surrounds you with his peace. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. Please, pray with me. Heavenly Father, in the precious name of your Son, Jesus, I pray over this beloved listener tonight. With each breath they take, I ask you to fill them with your peace. Lord, each of us needs your tender, healing touch. Just as the woman bravely reached out and touched the hem of your robe, so we reach out to receive healing from you tonight. Mind, heart, body, and soul, please heal every broken place. Lord, as this Dear child, hears your words of comfort tonight. Let your spirit flow through them, reminding them of your truth. Let them know they are deeply loved by you. As they fall asleep, I pray that your presence will guard them all through the night. And when they wake, I pray that they will be fully renewed 
ready to face the day, complete, whole, healthy, and secure. I ask for these things in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Before we get into our sleep story, take one more deep breath in and release it as slowly as you can. Relax every muscle from head to toe. Feel the tension leaving your body. God is with you. Feel his comforting presence. Rest in his love and peace. Oh, how he cares for you. Now we turn to the shores of Galilee. As a multitude of people wait for Jesus, he steps out of the boat and is welcomed by them. They gather around him, pressing in on every side, desperate to get close to him. A woman is in the crowd, a dear woman who has been bleeding for 12 long years. Can you imagine? She has suffered for so long without relief. She has spent her life savings on doctors and treatments, hoping something will work. She has been isolated and outcast as a woman who is unclean. By every standard of the Jewish law, she should not be there this day. However, she has nowhere else to go. She is desperate to find healing, and she knows there is one who can make her whole. Perhaps you have felt unclean or isolated. Maybe you don't believe you should receive anything from God. If so, please. Release those thoughts to the Savior tonight. He has washed away your guilt and shame. He has torn the veil so that you can enter the Holy of Holies. He invites you to come boldly to the throne of grace. Gracious God, Please release this beloved listener of all doubt tonight. As they come before you, remove any obstacle that stands in their way. Restore their faith in you, leading them to your throne, fully surrendered to you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Even though the woman was deemed unclean by the Jewish law, the law of love prevailed that day. Her faith in Jesus took her to Galilee, despite the label others had placed on her, and in faith, she waited for just the right time to touch the hem of his robe. Her story is recorded in Luke chapter 8, verses 43 and 44. Now a woman having a flow of blood for twelve years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any, came from behind and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her flow of blood stopped. Immediately she was healed. With one slight touch, she received the power of Jesus, mighty to heal. You see, 
As Jesus, the great physician, walked past, she knew without a doubt that he was able to heal. He is able. As Ephesians 3.20 says, He is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to His power that is at work within us. Rest in that comforting truth tonight. Gracious God, Healer, and friend, we come humbly before you, thanking you for being with us. As this beloved person seeks you tonight, help them to find your grace and peace. Remind them that they are created to seek you, reach for you, and find you, for you are not far from them. I pray for this dear person to be assured of the healing power of your presence. I ask, Lord, that you heal every affliction, every illness, and every issue they might have. In the mighty name of Jesus, and by the power of your Spirit, Please move through this person's body to bring full healing and restoration. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. After the woman touched the hem of Jesus' robe, he stopped and asked, Who touched me? None of his disciples could answer him. In fact, they questioned the Lord by saying, Master, the multitudes throng and press you, and do you say, Who touched me? But Jesus said, Somebody touched me, for I perceived power going out from me. Jesus already knew who the woman was, yet he stopped to ask who had touched him. He wanted her to come forward in faith. Jesus wants you to come to him in faith as well. He invites you to ask of him. In John chapter 14, Jesus said, Whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. This heart, Lord, needs your cleansing power. This mind, Lord, needs your thoughts of praise. This body, Lord, needs your healing touch. This soul, Lord, needs your hands to raise. Be still before the Lord tonight, resting in his love towards you. Trust Him to know exactly what you need. Trust Him to heal you. When the woman saw that she was not hidden from Jesus, she came trembling and falling down before Him. She declared in the presence of all the people why she had touched Him and how she was healed Immediately. Then Jesus said to her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. 
hear Jesus' words again. Be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your faith, as small as a tiny mustard seed, is enough. Believe that Jesus is mighty to heal. From every sickness and pain, He is more than able to make you well. Do not give up. Keep pressing in. Keep taking hold of the hem of His garment, believing He can heal you. Lord Jesus, I pray for this beloved person tonight, hopeful for your hand of healing over their infirmities. Please, Lord, renew their hope in you. Never let them doubt that you are able to heal. Give them strength, comfort, and direction as they walk in faithfulness to you. I ask that you work through their body, through every fiber of their being, to heal and restore them to health. No matter what, Lord, I pray that this child will give you all the glory, honor, and praise. I pray that they will be a living testimony of what you've done for them. Be with them, Lord. Be their comfort and their peace. I pray these things in your holy name. Amen. Settle your head on the soft pillow. Pull the warm covers around you. And take a few slow, deep breaths. Invite the Holy Spirit to be with you. His presence is what we seek tonight. He is your comforter, your counselor, and your constant blessing of peace. Ask the Holy Spirit to cover you and your entire household as you sleep. As Jesus said, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may be with you forever. That is the Spirit of Truth. Strength for the battles ahead begins with laying down your weapons and resting in the security of God's love and grace. You will find all you need in the presence of God, who has already won the victory. Before we begin, let's get any distractions out of the way. Make sure the lights are low and you're in a comfortable position, not too hot and not too cold. If you'd like to, find some calming music on the Abide app or simply enjoy the quiet. As you breathe and listen and pray, if distractions or worries enter your mind, acknowledge them and tell them to wait. This is a time for resting and remembering that God is at work on your behalf as you rest. If there are any worries, fears, or anxieties plaguing you right now, go ahead and take a moment to name them and release them to God. Having surrendered your worries and fears to God, feel the lightness of your spirit you don't have to carry those things anymore. You're free of them. Feel the weight 
gone from your shoulders. Feel the muscles of your neck and back loosen and relax, free of the burden they were carrying. Notice your breath. Don't judge it, just notice it. It's steady movement in and out. We often talk about the value of taking a deep breath, but did you know that exhaling is linked to the parasympathetic nervous system, which influences your body's ability to relax and calm down? Instead of beginning by taking a deep breath, begin with a thorough exhale, pushing all of the air out of your lungs, then simply letting your lungs do their work inhaling. For the next few minutes, practice exhaling a bit longer than you inhale. Inhale for a count of four, and then exhale for six. Breathe in, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Keep breathing like that as I read Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15 in the New Living Translation. This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel, says, Only in returning to me and resting in me will you be saved. In quietness and confidence is your strength. Find your salvation and strength here, resting in God. The prophet tells us what God's deliverance will look like. Listen. The Lord must wait for you to come to him so he can show you his love and compassion. For the Lord is a faithful God and blessed are those who wait for his help. O people of Zion who live in Jerusalem, you will weep no more. He will be gracious if you ask for help. He will surely respond to the sound of your cries. The people of God will sing a song of joy, like the songs at the holy festivals. You will be filled with joy as when a flutist leads a group of pilgrims to Jerusalem, the mountain of the Lord, to the rock of Israel. And the Lord will make his majestic voice heard. He will display the strength of his mighty arm. Let's shift our breathing and try a new practice. Breathing from your diaphragm, the muscle that sits just beneath your lungs, can help reduce the amount of work your body needs to do in order to breathe. If you haven't practiced breathing this way before, here's how you do it. Put one hand under your rib cage and one hand over your heart. Breathe in and out through your nose and notice what moves under your hands, your stomach, your chest, as you breathe. Try breathing in different ways Isolate your breath so that your chest moves more than your stomach. Breathe so that your stomach moves more than your chest. Take your time as you observe your breath. Let's focus in on belly breathing. Breathe in through your nose, noticing your stomach rise, feeling your belly fill with air. Your chest should remain relatively still. Now purse your lips and exhale through your mouth. Try engaging your stomach muscles to push the air out at the end of the breath. 
keep breathing this way as I read those verses again, this time in the Amplified Bible. For the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, has said this, In returning to me and rest, you shall be saved. In quietness and confident trust is your strength. Therefore, the Lord waits expectantly and longs to be gracious to you. And therefore, he waits on high to have compassion on you. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed, happy, fortunate are those who long for him, since he will never fail them. O people in Zion, inhabitant in Jerusalem, you will weep no longer. He will most certainly be gracious to you at the sound of your cry for help. When he hears it, he will answer you. You will have a song as in the night when a holy feast is kept, and the joy of heart as when one marches in procession with a flute to go to the temple on the mountain of the Lord, to the rock of Israel. And the Lord will make his majestic voice heard. Listen for the words of comfort and compassion God is speaking to you now. Let's try one last breathing technique called breath focus. When deep breathing is focused and slow, it can help reduce anxiety. Take a slow, deep breath through your nose. Notice your belly and upper body expanding. Exhale in whatever way is most comfortable for you, sighing if you wish. Now choose a word to focus on and vocalize during your exhale. We'll choose a word from Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 15. As I read this verse, listen for a word that speaks to you. In returning and rest, you shall be saved. In quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Maybe your word for the day is rest, or trust, or strength. Whatever it is, hold that word close as you breathe. You may even choose to vocalize that word as you exhale. Breathing in through your nose and exhaling through your mouth, whispering your word. Practice this for a full minute. Now imagine your inhale washing over you like a gentle wave. Imagine your exhale carrying negative and upsetting thoughts and energy away from you. When you get distracted, gently bring your attention back to your breath and your word. Sense the presence of God with you, shielding you from all harm. You are in an utterly safe place when you are here, trusting in God. 
allow that sense of complete safety to guide you into deeper rest. You don't have to remain vigilant. You don't have to worry about anything. God is here. God is good. God is in control. You can surrender to God, knowing that God is love. Not a single muscle in your body needs to be tense right now. God will fight for you as you rest. God will deliver you. The best way you can armor up for the battles ahead is to rest here and to let God strengthen you. Let me pray for you as we close. Heavenly Father, hold this child in your arms. Free them from the burdens they've been carrying. Sing over them with joy and give them rest. May they sense your love shining on them like the sun, warming them and strengthening them. Give them everything they need for what is ahead and give them assurance that you will fight their battles for them and that you have already won the victory. Let them know that as they trust in you, they will find salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. Tonight, we'll be focusing on verses from Psalm 94, verses that assure us of God's unfailing love and support. We'll be encouraged to let go of fear and anxiety. We'll experience the freedom God offers as we lean on Him through every circumstance. But before we begin, please take a few moments to settle into bed. Make yourself comfortable and take a few deep breaths to help you relax. Whisper a quiet prayer, inviting the Holy Spirit to be with you. Ask for his presence in Jesus name. Inhale and exhale. Feel every muscle relax as you center your thoughts on God's Word in His presence tonight. Now, let me pray over you. Heavenly Father, thank you for being with this listener tonight. I pray that you will cover them with an amazing amount of peace the peace that surpasses all understanding and comes from your spirit. I pray that no matter where they are in the world and no matter what they're feeling, that you will be with them and free them from all anxiousness. Lord, Please help this person release every ounce of worry and stress to you right here in the stillness of the room. Lead them to extend their arms as a symbol of letting go of all the things that are troubling them. Please help them. Help them to know that you are with them and that you love them deeply. Lord, I ask that you help this listener experience the freedom you offer when they look to you for answers and guidance. Instead of looking to the world, please help them remain in step with your spirit, letting you guide them in every decision. 
help them to abide in the true vine allowing you to prune away all the things that don't belong and help them to rest in the protective shelter of your wings in the precious name of Jesus I pray amen now take one more slow breath in and exhale out listen to these comforting words from Psalm 94 verses 18 and 19 when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in those words for a few moments each of us at different times in our lives has felt as though our feet were slipping either by our own choices or habits or by life circumstances of which we have no control we have found ourselves slipping away and even falling a time or two if this describes you please know that you're not alone other brothers and sisters in Christ have slipped as well and many have found themselves living a life of imbalance and struggling to remain steady on their feet but please remember this God's unfailing love is always there to support you you are not left to figure out things for yourself he is there to uphold you to help you get back on your feet and then to lead you in the way you should go you can trust him lean on him and rest in him there is great peace in knowing that God's unfailing love never leaves you he supports you every step of the way steady strong unchanging unfailing that's what God's love is rest in the stillness of the room and feel God's unfailing love surrounding you supporting you and setting you free let's pray precious God holy God as the remnants of worry and anxiety decrease we feel your love increase more and more thank you we praise you we rest in your presence and find freedom in your spirit for where your spirit is there is freedom tonight Lord break every stronghold of anxiety in the life of this listener cut the chains of fretfulness and unrest open wide the window of your peace and usher in the sweet fragrance of joy it is in the name of Jesus we pray these things amen listen again to our Bible passage of comfort and joy when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me 
your consolation brought me joy rest on the word consolation for a moment consolation means comfort compassion relief and strength your consolation comes from the unfailing love of God through Jesus Christ his son I'm reminded of a beautiful passage of Scripture that tells of a man named Simeon who was led by the Spirit to the temple on the same day that Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to be dedicated you see Simeon had long awaited the birth of the Messiah the consolation of Israel and by the divine providence of God his eyes beheld the newborn King this is what Simeon said when he took Jesus in his arms Lord now you're letting your servant depart in peace according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all peoples a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles in the glory of your people Israel according to the word of the Lord Jesus came to be the consolation of Israel a light to the Gentiles and the glory of his people he is your consolation your light and your glory through comfort compassion relief and strength Jesus casts all anxiety away and replaces it with perfect peace there is no need to be anxious anymore every need you have is covered in Jesus he comforts you he offers compassion and relief from every worry he strengthens you and leads you into the assurance that he has everything under control release everything to him when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in the joy of the Lord feel his peace wash over you like a healing balm in him you have received healing and renewal the old things are gone and the new has come all anxieties are taken away and replaced by God's consolation of peace in Psalm 119 we hear these words remember your promise to me and is my only hope your promise revives me it comforts me in all my troubles remember God's promises they are your hope they comfort you in every trouble he promises to uphold you with his righteous right hand he promises to love you with an everlasting love he promises to be with you always never leaving you or forsaking you rest deeply in the promises of God tonight doubt cannot remain where God's truth abides fear is cast out where God's peace resides 
anxiety runs dry as God's presence fills worries are calmed as the Holy Spirit stills gracious God please remember this beloved listener tonight as they sleep soundly in your presence and in your grace bless them as they rest in you keep them in the fold of your unfailing love and guard them through every hour of the night thank you Lord for freeing this person of all anxiety right here right now we trust you to cast out all traces of fretfulness and unrest as this child sleeps tonight I ask that you fill their dreams with reminders of your promises promises of your unfailing love and goodness I pray for restorative sleep that will help them wake up in the morning refreshed and renewed thank you God for your comfort and peace in Jesus name when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy sleep now in the peaceful consolation of joy and be free free to live in unity with the Lord safe secure and surrounded by his unfailing love amen I will read Psalm 119 verse by verse you will hear that you are in the presence of someone who thought about the Bible a lot the author of this chapter is unknown but some have suggested it may have been Ezra the priest written at the time that the temple had been rebuilt many believe King David is the author King David treasured and loved the holy text he knew the Bible or at least as much of the Bible as existed in his time he had probably committed vast sections of it to memory may you rest in these deep truths and find comfort in them let me pray over you father you are so good to us you are so kind to your people you give us breath each day and the moment that breath is taken away we reside with you give this dear one not just the knowledge of your commands but the deep understanding that brings about changed hearts help them not to be simply hearers of the word but one who listens effectively and lives the word help this child of yours hunger for you comfort and protect them as they sleep and may your Holy Spirit fill them throughout the night in Jesus name Amen Psalm 119 blessed are those whose ways are blameless who walk according to the law of the Lord blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart they do no wrong but follow his ways you have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed oh that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees then I would not be put to shame when I consider all your commands I will praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous laws I will obey your decrees do not utterly forsake me how can a young person 
stay on the path of purity by living according to your word I seek you with all my heart do not let me stray from your commands I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you praise be to you Lord teach me your decrees with my lips I recount all the laws that come from your mouth I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways I delight in your decrees I will not neglect your word be good to your servant while I live that I may obey your word open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law I am a stranger on earth do not hide your commands from me my soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times you rebuke the arrogant who are accursed those who stray from your commands remove from me their scorn and contempt for I keep your statutes though rulers sit together and slander me your servant will meditate on your decrees your statutes are my delight they are my counselors I am laid now in the dust preserve my life according to your word I gave an account of my ways and you answered me teach me your decrees cause me to understand the way of your precepts that I may meditate on your wonderful deeds my soul is weary with sorrow strengthen me according to your word keep me from deceitful ways be gracious to me and teach me your law I have chosen the way of faithfulness I have set my heart on your laws I hold fast to your statutes Lord do not let me be put to shame I run in the path of your commands for you have broadened my understanding teach me Lord the way of your decrees that I may follow it to the end give me understanding so that I may keep your law and obey it with all my heart direct me in the path of your commands for there I find delight turn my heart toward your statutes and not toward selfish gain turn my eyes away from worthless things preserve my life according to your word fulfill your promise to your servant so that you may be feared take away the disgrace I dread for your laws are good how I long for your precepts in your righteousness preserve my life may your unfailing love come to me Lord your salvation according to your promise then I can answer anyone who taunts me for I trust in your word never take your word of truth from my mouth for I have put my hope in your laws I will always obey your law forever and ever I will walk about in freedom for I have sought out your precepts I will speak of your statutes before Kings and will not be put to shame for I delight in your commands because I love them I reach out for your commands which I love that I may meditate on your decrees remember your word to your servant for you have given me hope my comfort in my suffering is this your promise preserves my life the arrogant mock me unmercifully 
but I do not turn from your law I remember Lord your ancient laws and I find comfort in them indignation grips me because of the wicked who have forsaken your law your decrees are the theme of my song wherever I lodge in the night Lord I remember your name that I may keep your law this has been my practice I obey your precepts you are my portion Lord I have promised to obey your words I have sought your grace with all my heart but be gracious to me according to your promise I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes I will hasten and not delay to obey your commands though the wicked bind me with ropes I will not forget your law at midnight I rise to give you thanks for your righteous laws I am a friend to all who fear you to all who follow your precepts the earth is filled with your love Lord teach me your decrees do good to your servant according to your word Lord teach me knowledge and good judgment for I trust your commands before I was afflicted I went astray but now I obey your word you are good and what you do is good teach me your decrees though the arrogant have smeared me with lies I keep your precepts with all my heart their hearts are callous and unfeeling but I delight in your law it was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees the law from your mouth is more precious to me than thousands of pieces of silver and gold your hands made me informed me give me understanding to learn your commands may those who fear you rejoice when they see me for I have put my hope in your word I know Lord that your laws are righteous in that in faithfulness you have afflicted me may your unfailing love be my comfort according to your promise to your servant let your compassion come to me that I may live for your law is my delight may the arrogant be put to shame for wronging me without cause but I will meditate on your precepts may those who fear you turn to me those who understand your statutes may I wholeheartedly follow your decrees that I may not be put to shame my soul faints with longing for your salvation but I have put my hope in your word my eyes fail looking for your promise I say when will you comfort me though I am like a wine skin in the smoke I do not forget your decrees how long must your servant wait when will you punish my persecutors the arrogant dig pits to trap me contrary to your law all your commands are trustworthy help me for I am being persecuted without cause they almost wiped me from the earth but I have not forsaken your precepts in your unfailing love preserve my life that I may obey the statutes of your mouth your word Lord is eternal it stands firm in the heavens 
your faithfulness continues through all generations you established the earth and it endures your laws endure to this day for all things serve you if your law had not been my delight I would have perished in my affliction I will never forget your precepts for by them you have preserved my life save me for I am yours I have sought out your precepts the wicked are waiting to destroy me but I will ponder your statutes to all perfection I see a limit but your commands are boundless oh how I love your law I meditate on it all day long your commands are always with me and make me wiser than my enemies I have more insight than all my teachers for I meditate on your statutes I have more understanding than the elders for I obey your precepts I have kept my feet from every evil path so that I might obey your word I have departed from your laws for you yourself have taught me how sweet are your words to my taste sweeter than honey to my mouth I gain understanding from your precepts therefore I hate every wrong path your word is a lamp for my feet a light on my path I have taken an oath and confirmed it that I will follow your righteous laws I have suffered much preserve my life Lord according to your word accept Lord the willing praise of my mouth and teach me your laws though I constantly take my life in my hands I will not forget your law the wicked have set a snare for me but I have not strayed from your precepts your statutes are my heritage forever they are the joy of my heart my heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end I hate double-minded people but I love your law you are my refuge and my shield I have put my hope in your word away from me you evildoers that I may keep the commands of my God sustain me my God according to your promise and I will live do not let my hopes be dashed uphold me and I will be delivered I will always have regard for your decrees you reject all who stray from your decrees for their delusions come to nothing all the wicked of the earth you discard like dross therefore I love your statutes my flesh trembles in fear of you I stand in awe of your laws I have done what is righteous and just do not leave me to my oppressors ensure your servants well-being do not let the arrogant oppress me my eyes fail looking for your salvation looking for your righteous promise deal with your servant according to your love and teach me your decrees I am your servant give me discernment that I may understand your statutes it is time for you to act Lord your law is being broken because I love your commands more than gold more than pure gold and because I consider all your precepts right I hate every wrong path your statutes are wonderful therefore I obey them 
the unfolding of your words gives light it gives understanding to the simple I open my mouth and pant longing for your commands turn to me and have mercy on me as you always do to those who love your name direct my footsteps according to your word let no sin rule over me redeem me from human oppression that I may obey your precepts make your face shine on your servant and teach me your decrees streams of tears flow from my eyes for your law is not obeyed you are righteous Lord and your laws are right the statutes you have laid down are righteous they are fully trustworthy my zeal wears me out for my enemies ignore your words your promises have been thoroughly tested and your servant loves them though I am lowly and despised I do not forget your precepts your righteousness is everlasting and your law is true trouble and distress have come upon me but your commands give me delight your statutes are always righteous give me understanding that I may live I call you with all my heart answer me Lord and I will obey your decrees I call out to you save me and I will keep your statutes I rise before dawn and cry for help I have put my hope in your word my eyes stay open through the watches of the night that I may meditate on your promises hear my voice in accordance with your love preserve my life Lord according to your laws those who devise wicked schemes are near but they are far from your law yet you are near Lord and all your commands are true long ago I learned from your statutes that you established them to last forever look on my suffering and deliver me for I have not forgotten your law defend my cause and redeem me preserve my life according to your promise salvation is far from the wicked and they do not seek out your decrees your compassion Lord is great preserve my life according to your laws many are the foes who persecute me but I have not turned from your statutes I look on the faithless with loathing for they do not obey your word see how I love your precepts preserve my life Lord in accordance with your love all your words are true all your righteous laws are eternal rulers persecute me without cause but my heart trembles at your word I rejoice in your promise like one who finds great spoil I hate and detest falsehood but I love your law seven times a day I praise you for your righteous laws great peace have those who love your law and nothing can make them stumble I wait for your salvation Lord and I follow your commands I obey your statutes for I love them greatly I obey your precepts and your statutes for all my ways are known to you may my cry come before you Lord give me understanding according to your word may my supplication come before you deliver me according to your promise may my lips overflow with praise for you teach me your decrees may my tongue sing of your word 
for all your commands are righteous. May your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, Lord, and your law gives me delight. Let me live, that I may praise you, and may your laws sustain me. I have strayed like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I have not forgotten your commands. Let God speak to your heart as you hear his word. So settle deeply into your bed. Let your head rest heavily on your pillow as you relax every muscle in your body. Take a deep, slow breath. Hold it for a moment and then release it, feeling the tension of your day fade away. Feel the comfort of your warm covers, the peacefulness of this moment. Don't let in any distractions. Tell them to go away. This is your time to be with the Lord as he guides you into deep sleep without worry or concern. Keep breathing deeply and slowly as you listen, letting your body ease into sleep. Father God, I bring this child of yours before you today and ask you for your favor. I already know that you love them deeply, and I ask that you would give them that assurance as well. I pray that as they sleep, their dreams would be of those things that are honorable and lovely and worthy of praise. Keep away all distractions, concerns, and stresses so that they can rest peacefully. May the sound of my voice telling them of the wonders of you and your world lull them quickly into sleep that lasts the whole night through and is refreshing and rejuvenating. I ask these things knowing that your desire is for them to live abundantly in you. It's in the name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. Your purpose on this earth is to enjoy God and to serve Him forever, to dwell on His excellent greatness, to fill your mind and heart with His Word. Anything else you are given to do will be fueled by these things. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 in the Amplified Bible says, Finally, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable and worthy of respect, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good repute, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. Your time tonight will be spent letting your mind dwell on these things. First, here are some things that are true, told by the scriptures. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. All things, that's a promise. God will work all things together for good. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Faithful and just. That's who God is. If he says he will do something, you can be sure that he will do it. If you have confessed your sins, you are cleansed from all unrighteousness. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, 
that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. O oh, beloved, rest in that truth. He loves you so much. Lord God, your word is trustworthy. Let this precious child dwell on these things as they sleep tonight. Write them on their heart. Bind your truths to them, so they live and breathe them day in and day out. Let them hear only words of truth. Your word is truth. Amen. Now let those things that are honorable dwell in your mind. Let's turn to the Sermon on the Mount from Matthew chapter 5 to see behavior that is honorable to God. Jesus said, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Let these honorable things dwell in your thoughts. Jesus, you don't ask us to do anything that you don't then enable us to do. So as this child of yours thinks about doing honorable things, help them to know that they are not doing them alone in their own strength, but by the power and might of your Holy Spirit dwelling within them. And we will thank you and praise you for that power. In your name, amen. Let your mind dwell on that which is just. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 18. He executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the sojourner, giving him food and clothing. And chapter 32, verse 4 of that same book, The Rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are justice, a God of faithfulness and without iniquity, just and upright is he. Give justice to the weak and the fatherless, maintain the right of the afflicted and the destitute, God is a God of justice. It is in his very nature to be just. Let your mind dwell on these things. Lord God, thank you for your justice, that we can always know that you will do the right thing, whether we see it today or years from today. We can trust that you will follow through on your word. Help this child of yours tonight as they dwell on your justice. Give them hope and courage in the name of Jesus. Amen. Think about those things that are pure. Psalm 12, verse 6 is a perfect place to start. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. Let the words of God fill your dreams as you hear him speak to you. His words are pure. Psalm 19, verse 8. 
the precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5 The aim of our charge is love that issues from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith. When the temple of God was being built, everything was to be made of those things that were pure. There were to be no impurities in the temple. Now you are the temple of God. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. Dwell on the Lord and keep your heart pure. Holy Lord, there is nothing pure aside from you. So I pray that his beloved child listening tonight will guard their heart from all impurities as they dwell on your word that is true, just, and pure. Thank you for promising them your strength. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Here is what God considers lovely that you should dwell on it. Psalm 84, verse 1. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 7. How lovely on the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who announces peace and brings good news of happiness, who announces salvation and says to Zion, Your God reigns. Maybe you've thought about the fact that the feet of those who bring the news of Jesus are lovely. But they are. Dwell on those messengers, on those who proclaim the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Jesus, you are the Messiah. You are the Savior of the world. And those who would speak about you to others are lovely to dwell on. I pray that this precious one listening tonight will be one who has the lovely feet of a messenger of your gospel. Grant them peace as they dwell on the loveliness of your dwelling and the telling of the good news in your name. Amen. In the New Testament, the early church fathers were directed to appoint people who had good reputations. They were devoted to the Lord and to their families. They were ones who were worthy of being looked up to. They would fulfill their duties in the church well. Proverbs 22 verse 1 says, A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor is better than silver or gold. 1 Timothy chapter 5 verses 9 through 10 describes a widow who could be given help by the church. It says, let a widow be enrolled if she is not less than 60 years of age, having been the wife of one husband and having a reputation for good works. If she has brought up children, has shown hospitality, has washed the feet of the saints, has cared for the afflicted, and has devoted herself to every good work, let your mind dwell on what it's like to know a person such as this, loves to serve others, is hospitable, cares for the afflicted. Let the peace such a person brings envelop your heart. Father, we praise you for your gifts that allow us to serve others and to serve you. I ask your blessing on this beloved child as they sleep tonight, that you would bring to their mind that which is of good repute, that they would dwell on that and not on those who do not honor you. It's all for the sake of Jesus. Amen. Here is what is excellent and should fill your thoughts. Psalm 150, verse 2. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Titus chapter 3, verse 8. The saying is trustworthy, and I want you to insist on these things, 
so that those who have believed in God may be careful to devote themselves to good works. These things are excellent and profitable for people. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 6 But as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old, as the covenant he mediates is better, since it is enacted on better promises. Excellent greatness, excellent works, a more excellent covenant. Think upon these things. Dear Heavenly Father, there is so much excellence in your name, in your character, in your mighty works. Help this loved one tonight to dwell on the excellent greatness of your name and the excellent ministry of our Lord Jesus as they rest in you tonight. It's in the matchless name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. And now we will close with the words of Revelation, chapter 5, verse 11 through 13, which tells us why the Lord Jesus, above all else, is worthy of praise. Then I looked, and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders the voice of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them, saying, to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Amen and amen. Sleep in peace, dear one, dwelling on the things of God. I wonder if you could wake up anywhere in the world, where would you hope to be? Perhaps dozens of favorite spots might come to mind. It might be the peace of a mountain cabin, tucked away from the busyness of life. A place where you can sit outside in the cool morning breeze and listen to the birds welcoming a new day. Or it might be near the ocean, with the sound of the waves washing ashore or maybe by the dribbling of a stream on your favorite hike it might be the simple sound of your morning coffee slowly dripping into the pot as beautiful as each of these ideas may be Psalm 84 invites you to consider that the dwelling place of God is the loveliest and sweetest destination you could ever find for it is there in the dwelling place of God that you encounter his fullness and experience his treasured presence as you settle into your bed for a good night's sleep relax your shoulders and take a slow deep breath as you find a comfortable position point your toes and arch your back letting your muscles have one final stretch before you set them to rest and allow your body to restore itself while you sleep take a quick inventory of the events and emotions that you felt throughout the day don't dwell too long on any thought acknowledge it and then send it on its way let your heart be at peace as your day comes to a close 
take another slow deep cleansing breath breathing in through your nose and slowly releasing it through your mouth if there are burdens from this day let them lift from your mind one by one give your anxieties to God and declare that you trust in him God may your child rest in your loving arms tonight close your eyes and take one last deep breath find comfort in the words of the prophet Isaiah who says you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you all whose thoughts are fixed on you as you fall asleep tonight find rest in God and receive his everlasting perfect peace as you sleep Heavenly Father as your beloved child lies down to sleep may they rest in your arms help them to trust you with their life and give them the perfect peace that you promise to those who fix their thoughts on you I ask tonight for your favor and protection as they sleep guard their thoughts and their dreams tonight bring stillness to their mind in peace to their heart as they go to bed be present in their dreams let them dream of your dwelling place and find comfort in your presence may they trust in you loving and gracious father amen with your eyes closed and your mind free from worry or concern let the words of Psalm 84 wash over you how lovely is your dwelling place O Lord of hosts my soul longs yes faints for the courts of the Lord my heart and flesh sing for joy to the Living God even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young at your altars O Lord of hosts my King and my God blessed are those who dwell in your house ever singing your praise to dwell is to remain it is a place where you have the freedom and feel the safety to stay the dwelling place of God is such a beautiful thought to consider a place where God's presence would choose to dwell is a place of rest peace and ultimate freedom in the Old Testament the temple also called the tabernacle was the dwelling place of God in fact the very words used in this Psalm mean tabernacle it was here in this place that the people of God could find rest and freedom in the ability to connect with him it is where the priests of God would meet with him on behalf of all the people it is where sin was forgiven and freedom was found it was their refuge it must have been quite lovely indeed let your soul find this same refuge 
in the presence of God tonight. Psalm 84 is one of the psalms that come from the sons of Korah. The sons of Korah were a family of singers, a lineage of people dedicated to giving praise to God in the temple. The songs they would sing have been preserved in God's word and have continued to be sung by his people for thousands of years. You may have sung along with the sons of Korah without even knowing. They wrote verses such as Psalm 42 As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul longs after God. In Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. These treasured words of the sons of Korah have given God's people an opportunity to sing His praises and glorify His name, no matter what their circumstances. God, thank you for preserving the songs of the sons of Korah in the Psalms. How lovely it is to sing along with them, joining the chorus of your people for generations. And in Psalm 84, they give you a picture of how precious and dear the dwelling place of God truly is. It is where God's presence can be found. It is abundant and rich and accessible to his people. How lovely indeed. The dwelling place of God looks different for God's people now than it did thousands of years ago. And so, for the people of Israel who did not have personal access to the presence of God like believers do now, the temple was everything. For people without constant access to God, they needed something they could count on. The temple, as the dwelling place of God, was their safety and salvation. Many traveled annually from wherever they lived to visit the temple. Imagine that you are on such a journey, a journey to the most wonderful, peaceful place imaginable. You are making your way to the dwelling place of God, a place where you can sing along with the sons of Korah and give worship and praise to God. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul longs after God. Let your soul long after God as you fall asleep tonight. And as you long, imagine now that you are making your way along the sandy path. You are walking through the city towards the beloved, lovely temple of God. Feel the heat of the sun as you walk along the path. Begin the journey up the mountain towards the temple. Feel the drip of sweat on your brow, the exhaustion from the long journey. Allow the longing you feel to be in his courts in the lovely dwelling place of God to bring you endurance to finish the journey. The place you most long to be is drawing nearer with every step. 
imagine who may have joined you on this journey look around you as you seek the presence of God with the ones you love here the collective song of those journeying with you together singing the songs of the sons of Korah and join them as they sing how lovely is your dwelling place O Lord of hosts my soul longs yes faints for the courts of the Lord you are drawing near the courts of the Lord are close and getting closer your journey will be worth it even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young at your altars O Lord of hosts my King and my God consider the birds that come to the altar of God they too find refuge in his presence though the sparrow and swallow can explore the expanse of the sky they return to his altar they return to the temple they return to his dwelling place and we the children of God though we come and go in many aspects of our lives we return to God our refuge and find safety in his dwelling place Oh Heavenly Father thank you for caring for your child even more than the way you care for the birds of the air we see the way you know and provide for them and in that we find rest and comfort that you will care for and provide for your child as they rest right now look up at the sky and admire these birds known by God and cared for by him as you come ever closer to the temple feel the sandy path beneath your feet change to hardened dirt well-trodden roads look at the greenery increasing around you admire the variety of the trees you see see the tall full body of the deep green cedars and cypress trees pause in the shade of the umbrella like acacias pause in the shade of the umbrella like acacias giving you a respite on your journey admire the twisted roots of the juniper trees smell the scent of the olive trees let it draw you closer step closer to admire the radiance of the wildflowers see the stark white against the bright green stems the bright yellow the richness of the red the blue that mirrors the sky listen to the sound of the birds listen to their song and sing along how lovely is your dwelling place O Lord of hosts blessed are those whose strength is in you and whose heart are the highways to Zion as they go through the valley of Baca they make it a place of springs the early rain also covers it with pools they go from strength to strength each one appears before God and Zion the valley of Baca represents a valley of weeping 
as you journey towards the dwelling place of God you know that you have come through the valley your journey was long and arduous but you have come through it feel the victory of making your way through the valley feel the relief of making it level ground let the burdens of your weeping lift and leave them in the hands of your God for your heart is on the highway to Zion you are drawing near to his temple your morning will be turned to dancing just as he will make the valley of weeping into a place of springs find rest in this and God's promise to you and sing unto him how lovely is your dwelling place O Lord of hosts God thank you for carrying your precious child through the valleys of their life we know that you do not abandon us in times of trouble you journey with us and give us strength would you set the heart of your child on the highway to Zion turn their affections towards you we rest in you O God for a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness for the Lord God is a Sun and shield the Lord bestows favor and honor no good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly O Lord of hosts blessed is the one who trusts in you for a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere how lovely must a place be for one single day as a door holder to be better than a thousand days anywhere else how marvelous to imagine a place so peaceful and healing and refreshing to long for just a moment consider again the one place in the world you would most like to wake up to it might be special to you as your childhood home the place you grew up loving with memories in every room you might long for the comfort of knowing who you share that space with or you may long to wake up in a foreign city you once visited and the thought of waking up and strolling along streets that hold treasured memories of a long-awaited vacation fills your heart with joy and anticipation just imagining it puts you back in that city listening to the sound of a foreign language reach into your pocket and feel the coins that look nothing like the money you carry at home walk along the river and admire the gondolas floating by with people laughing enjoying one another smell the fresh bread coming from the bakery across the street the anatomy of longing is the wonder that there are places that evoke in you a sense of safety peace wonder and joy Heavenly Father 
we want to sing in agreement that just one day in your presence is better than a thousand elsewhere help your child to treasure your presence as they find rest in you yes the places we long to return to here on earth are lovely indeed but if one day is better than a thousand how much more beautiful is the place that holds the presence of God imagine now that you are approaching the temple listen to the changing sound of your steps as you move from the sandy gravel that has led you along the majority of this journey to granite you long anticipated reaching feel as it changes to the hard stone beneath your feet as you draw near notice the sounds that are changing from the few voices of those journeying with you to the sound of a bustling crowd in the temple courts Oh, listen to the sound of singing as many sing praises to God they have finally arrived listen to the chatter coming from the courts hear the diversity of language in the voices of many who have come from near and far seeking along with you to meet God in his dwelling place look at the variety of people who have traveled to this precious place see mothers with babies swaddled to their chests and little hands holding theirs as they walk see the joy in the eyes of the gray-haired men and women after longing all their lives they have made it see the fathers holding tight to their little ones as they make their way through the crowd see friends laugh together as they agree the journey was well worth it and with many from all over join their song together they sing how lovely is your dwelling place O Lord of hosts that place you most long to be it is nothing compared to the wonder of God's presence for the safety peace wonder and joy that you long for is found most fully in his presence find safety in the comfort of a God who sees you and protects you find peace in a God who is for you and near to you find wonder in the majesty of a God more extravagant than you could ever imagine find joy in a God who delights in you and brings you good things for his name's sake for even 1,000 days in your most treasured destination could not compare to the majesty found in the temple of God how lovely is his dwelling place for even the most celebrated position or greatest honor pales in comparison to that of a doorkeeper in the temple of God for the doorkeeper is immersed in his presence the doorkeeper is surrounded by his nearness the doorkeeper is resting secure in the peace that surpasses all understanding enter into his presence and find this peace in the Old Testament the temple that we've been talking about was the actual dwelling place of God the place where his presence would abide 
but things are different now things are different because when Jesus came on the scene everything changed and when Jesus ascended into heaven he promised to leave us his Holy Spirit as a believer in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ you are now the dwelling place of God because the Holy Spirit dwells within you salvation was won by Jesus on the cross and he sent the promised Holy Spirit to dwell within you your access to the dwelling place of God is not predicated on an arduous journey to the temple it does not depend on your ability to be in the right place at the right time instead your access to the dwelling place of God is promised to you by a gracious father for the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead now dwells in you oh how lovely it is no longer a journey you must make it's just a reality for you to recognize you are the dwelling place of God what a profound shift the God of heaven came near to us in the person of Jesus and now he dwells in us through the Holy Spirit how lovely is your dwelling place O Lord of hosts how profound that you choose to dwell in your beloved Father God it is a privilege beyond what we can comprehend and I pray that your child will recognize the gift of the Holy Spirit in dwelling within them we cling to your presence knowing that in you we find rest peace grace and joy to carry us through our days no matter what your journey looks like day by day no matter what fills your schedule what relationships you have or what work you do you have access to the presence of God here and now find rest in the promise that the presence of God is no longer a destination for you to reach only by an arduous journey but rather the presence of God is a treasured companion through all of your journeying for all of your days take a deep breath as you give thanks for the profound gift God has given you not only in his son Jesus but in his promised Holy Spirit find rest in the joy accessible to you as you journey through the valleys and peaks of your life sing praise for the promise that you do not have to endure the pain of your journey alone the Holy Spirit your companion journeys with you to bring you strength to give you peace to establish you in hope and to sustain you with love thank God for this gift and ask him to make you aware of his presence as you sleep tonight and throughout your day tomorrow ask him to wake you with a sensitivity to his spirit that will carry you through whatever tomorrow holds God we rest in the peace offered to us by your Holy Spirit now receive this blessing from number 6 24 through 26 the Lord bless you and keep you 
the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace sleep peacefully in Christ tonight as you dream of his dwelling place rest in the profound gift of being known and loved by the God of all creation find delight in the safety peace wonder and joy that you experience in his presence for his dwelling place is a promise and it is lovely indeed do you feel restless do you feel unsettled are you longing for peace tonight you will hear words from the Apostle Paul that beckon your heart to find peace rest and comfort you will be reminded that Christ has made a way for you to find everlasting peace you will be invited to rest in that peace tonight as you sleep as you lay down find a comfortable position no matter what this day held it has come to a close and God invites you to release it and enter into the blessed rest that he gives his beloved as you sleep let your shoulders relax with your eyes closed release any pressure that's tensing you up and prepare to sleep take a slow deep breath holding it for a moment before exhaling slowly take another deep breath let the pressures weights and uncertainties that you're worried about fall away tonight your Heavenly Father invites you to rest as you sleep Father God thank you for protecting your child through another day as they lay down to sleep I ask that you would lead them to the peace and rest that comes from knowing you and being in your presence be near to your child tonight Jesus let the words that come from your holy scriptures lead them to sleep in peace and wake in joy we look to you for our hope you are our everlasting peace in Jesus name amen children have the most wonderful imagination when they play their whole world transforms to them any item or location can morph in an instant simply because the child's mind decided it was time to have an adventure maybe the days of careless play seem miles away from where you currently find yourself often children will play castle with kings and queens or maybe even a court jester their backyard transforms and with all the power of a monarch they rule over an imaginary world maybe you wish you could go back to the days where the only thing you had to worry about was having enough time to play creatively in this way it can be easy sometimes to wish that life were as simple as it was back then when you could just imagine something and suddenly the world around you changed things are surely different now but maybe the invitation remains to imagine and see the world around you change what if God's invitation to you through his word was even more profound than your wildest childlike imagination that you could find something more than a temporary whimsical escape from the world around you and find a more lasting mindset change in his letters to the Colossian church the Apostle Paul writes 
let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful let the word of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms hymns and songs from the Spirit singing to God with gratitude in your hearts let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts imagine approaching the most majestic castle you have seen it from a distance but finally you have the opportunity to experience whatever might be inside you slowly walk up to the gate only to find the guards have been expecting you they open the massive brass gate and you walk through you're no longer on a normal sidewalk the ground beneath you has changed to an intricate brick design feel the freedom of acceptance as you walk toward the front doors notice the array of flowers and the perfectly manicured bushes lean in to smell the roses admire the variety of blues yellows whites and reds filling the flower bed walk closer to the front door preparing to enter and finally see what's inside as you reach the door you encounter more guards but they too seem to be expecting you notice the ornate design of the front doors taller than any you've seen before open the door and walk through to find a still more majestic entry look up to see the height of the ceilings notice the extravagance of the staircases one to the right and one to the left you've entered a place with a monarch a king or queen that rules over the space and all the space outside of it but the ruler isn't what you imagined it isn't a person it's peace let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts for peace to rule means that peace leads the conversation peace initiates peace responds peace makes the decisions peace has the final word Christ gives you the invitation to surrender to peace lay down your anger and let peace rule let go of your bitterness and let peace rule stop striving and let peace rule you belong in a palace of peace and be thankful let the word of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another the invitation of Jesus is not simply to let peace have the final say it is through thankfulness to let the word of Christ dwell among you richly letting peace have the final say changes what happens in the palace of your life letting the word of Christ dwell among you is to fill the room with truth tellers and promise keepers to dwell is to remain to live to stay in a space run to the richness of the word of Christ and you will find balm for your weary soul you will find truth flowing from the heart of God you will find the promises of Jesus spoken of old and preserved for us in the Holy Scriptures though we long for the goodness of God most spaces are filled not with truth or truth tellers instead of letting outside lesser voices have the loudest voice let the word of Christ dwell in you richly wander deeper into the palace turn the corner to find another majestic great room admire the colors woven into the rug deep greens gold and soft reds smell the incense burning permeating every room 
Look at the curtains, perfectly hung and pulled back to the side. Draw closer to the window and look outside at the luscious green grass and the bright blue sky. Imagine you turn the corner and find a grand piano positioned perfectly in the great room. Listen as the words of Christ that dwell among you turn to songs of blessing sung throughout the palace. Let the word of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Walk back to the front room and wander up the stairs. Listen to the sound of your feet on the tile as you ascend the stairs. Wander into each and every room you find, each more elaborate than the last. Imagine you have filled these rooms with truth-tellers, truth dwelling among you, peace reigning around you, truth to guide you, peace to sustain you. This is the invitation of Christ. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. We are all longing for peace. We are looking for it in so many different places, desperate to see this peace reign over our families, workplaces, relationships, and the world. We are longing for the truth of the word of Christ to dwell among us. The beauty is found in the promise given to you as you walk with Jesus. Choose to lean on the peace that comes from Him. As you fall asleep tonight, and as you wake in the morning to begin a new day, choose peace. Remember the message of Jesus, and let that dwell in your mind and heart instead. Heavenly Father, I ask again that your peace would permeate tonight as your beloved sleeps. You are our hope of peace in a broken and hurting world, and we look to you. Bless your child tonight. May your message dwell richly in them, leading them to delight and rest in your promises. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Find peace tonight as you rest in the loving arms of the God who delights to bless you care for you, and lead you. Sleep well tonight, and may you wake to know the Lord's love for you deeper and deeper. Tonight, we are going to hear comforting words that the Lord spoke to Jeremiah the prophet. Jeremiah had been called to a daunting ministry of speaking truth to the people of Judah. And though they did not listen to him, he remained faithful to God. Even behind prison doors, Jeremiah received peace and truth from the Lord. In chapter 33, the faithful prophet heard the Lord say, Behold, I will bring this place to health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Breathe deeply of God's abundant peace and truth tonight.
feel his presence surrounding you oh how he loves you you are safe in his care and now please allow me to pray over you Heavenly Father full of peace and truth I ask that you cover this listener tonight with your presence and your promises I ask that you fill their minds with such peace they will overflow with joy and gratitude Lord in the stillness of the room let them know you are there with each breath they take fill them with your love and goodness for you are God you are holy you are worthy I pray for this beloved person tonight no matter where they are or what is going on in their life that you God will sustain them by your loving hand I pray for strength and provision please Lord remove their burdens that they will feel released from all the things that concern them all the things that hold them down Lord remove them and set them free we look to you tonight for an abundance of peace and truth in Jesus name Amen dear friend I want you to know that in all of your worries and concerns you are not alone all of us like Jeremiah sometimes feel the weight of the world bearing down on our shoulders but God God in his infinite love for you and me speaks words of comfort at just the right time he says behold I will bring this place to health and healing I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth then it shall be to me a name of joy a praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth who shall hear all the good that I do to them dear one find rest in the comforting words of the Lord tonight feel the soft covers around you enveloping you into a deep and peaceful sleep as if you're sinking into a soft cloud allow your body to relax every muscle and every tendon resting in the perfect peace of God gracious God how we long to remain in your presence in the abundance of peace and truth we stay here with you please usher your child into a deep tranquil sleep fill their dreams with thoughts of you with reminders of your promises and with a renewed hope for tomorrow for in you we put our trust not in the things of this world but only in you for you alone have done great things and there is no reason to doubt that you will continue to move on our behalf thank you father for your wonderful works of peace and truth in the precious name of your son I pray amen
hear the quiet hush of the room stillness tranquility peace and calm listen as the Lord says there shall be heard in this place the voice of joy and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride the voice of those who will say praise the Lord of hosts for the Lord is good for his mercy endures forever his mercy endures forever dear friend feel the mercy of the Lord surrounding you tonight such mercy such grace you can barely contain it you are humbled by his goodness you are speechless by his favor and you are calmed by his love calm your heart beloved one in the Savior's love there is peace calm your mind treasured one in the Lord all worries cease calm your soul cherished one in the Father you are brave calm your spirit chosen one for he is faithful to save hear the word of the Lord from Jeremiah chapter 33 behold the days are coming says the Lord that I will perform that good thing which I have promised to the house of Israel and to the house of Judah in those days and at that time I will cause to grow up to David a branch of righteousness he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the earth in those days Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will dwell safely and this is the name by which she will be called the Lord our righteousness dwell in the Lord your righteousness breathe deeply of his presence holy God how we long for your righteousness in a dry and weary land we need the abundance of peace and truth more than ever before please hear our cry for more of you in our homes in our cities in our nations we need you please draw this listener into your comforting embrace by your Holy Spirit flow through them with peace and assurance hold them close Lord whisper words of truth that sink deep into their hearts and take root like a seed planted in fertile soil that breaks open and extends its roots deep underground help your word to take root in the heart of this beloved child tonight reap a harvest in their life a harvest so abundant it cannot be diminished all for your glory for your name and for your purpose in Jesus holy name amen feel at rest tonight without care or concern rest in the calmness of God's blessing you are covered dear child you are blessed you are so deeply loved your soul is at rest you are captured precious one by God's endless grace you are closed in by mercy the safest blessed place you are at peace dear child under the Holy Spirit's guide you can trust fully in him rest now and abide 
and the Lord promised behold I will bring this place to health and healing I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth O oh Lord in a world that is lacking the peace we crave let the fullness of your peace shine through in a place where joy is hard to find fill us with your unspeakable joy father God please bless this child tonight as they sleep please keep watch over them calm them with your love through every fiber of their being restore them unto you I pray that when they wake in the morning they will have a renewed sense of purpose and joy I pray that they will rise with a song in their heart a song of praise to the God they love and as the rays of light peek through the window I pray that they will be reminded of your perfect light that shines through the darkest places let them rejoice in a new day with a new opportunity to spend time with you help them walk in your ways and follow your paths whisper words of direction in their ears words that keep them on the narrow way in Jesus name amen God's promise to Judah was that he would heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth the abundance of God is overflowing rest in the overflow the abundance of God's peace surpasses all understanding rest in his perfect peace the abundance of God's truth is unfathomable rest in God's holy truth tonight behold the days are coming says the Lord that I will perform that good thing which I have promised to the house of Israel and to the house of Judah in those days and at that time I will cause to grow up to David a branch of righteousness sleep under the branch of righteousness the Lord Jesus Christ Holy Father thank you for sending your son to be our righteousness for without him we are nothing but in him we have everything we will ever need thank you we praise you in the abundance of peace and truth we rest securely in you God please continue to cover this child tonight surround their home with your angels touch their hearts with quiet whispers of truth that they will be assured of who you are and what you're doing in their life calm their minds and fill them with sweet dreams remind them that there is nothing nothing that can take the place of your peace there is nothing that can overcome your wonderful truth in the most holy name of Jesus I pray amen I encourage you to remove all distractions from the room turn off all electronics dim the lights and get settled into bed make yourself comfortable settle your head onto the pillow 
and pull the soft covers around you. Take a few deep breaths in and out. Feel your muscles relax from head to toe as you inhale and exhale. Now, invite the Holy Spirit to be with you tonight. Above all else, his presence is what you need most to find peace and rest just knowing he is covering you protecting you and calming you is enough to help you sleep soundly tonight take this moment to rest quietly in the Lord's presence now let's pray holy God it is your presence we seek tonight above all other comforts we ask for the covering of your peace please bless your beloved child with quietness and rest help them release all worried thoughts and concerns to you steady their breathing into a soft rhythm with each breath help them remember you the one who guards them and protects them as they sleep thank you Lord for anointing your child with your presence and it is in the precious name of your son that I pray amen if you've ever heard the word anointed before it may have been in the sense that God anointed certain people to be set apart to serve him in fact Jesus himself talked about anointing in Luke chapter 4 when he said the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor the anointing of the Lord is precious and purposeful settle your mind on God's anointing for several moments in the Old Testament Moses was given a recipe for the holy anointing oil the Lord told him in Exodus chapter 30 to take the finest spices of myrrh sweet smelling cinnamon aromatic calamus cassia and olive oil these were valuable spices that the Lord called Moses to gather he wanted only the finest ingredients for his holy anointing oil the purest of myrrh also called the myrrh of freedom in Hebrew sweet smelling cinnamon a rare spice that was much valued in that region aromatic calamus from the reed of a plant that grew close to the water God was specific about choosing the finest spices 
and from these spices Moses was commanded to make a holy anointing oil an ointment blended according to the art of the perfumer to be used as an oil of consecration inhale the sweet smelling aroma of the holy anointing oil as it fills the room this holy oil was used to consecrate the tabernacle of meeting the ark of the testimony and the altar of incense in order to make them holy for the service of the Lord not only that Aaron and his sons were anointed with oil to be sanctified as priests unto the Lord that they might minister before him all of their days this holy anointing was a symbol of being set apart for God set apart let those words sink in for several moments now please hear this prayer of anointing holy God we come humbly before you seeking the anointing of your presence we long to be set apart for you in all things Lord we offer ourselves in humble surrender for in you we live and move and have our being please cover us with the sweet fragrance of your holy anointing oil tonight settle our hearts and minds in the presence of your love and grace we seek true rest in you tonight deep peaceful uninterrupted sleep in the mighty name of your son Jesus we pray amen in Psalm 45 a psalm of love and declaration we read these words about God's anointing over his son therefore God your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions all your garments are scented with myrrh and aloe and cassia out of the ivory palaces by which they have made you glad therefore God your God has anointed you rest in the holiness of these words for several moments all your garments are scented with myrrh and aloe and cassia the scent of his garments or covered in the holy fragrance of God's anointing oil each strand of Jesus's sacrifice was woven into place by the good pleasing and perfect will of the Father just as a person weaves beautiful tapestry ensuring that each thread appears in its proper place God the Father wove his perfect plan through the life of his son so that we could live for eternity with him allow the tapestry of God's love and grace to secure you in his peace tonight God has anointed you with the oil of gladness 
joy and contentment fill the room the anointing oil of gladness rests on you like a comforting blanket all worries fade away they are replaced with God's perfect peace oh how good it is to abide in the peace of God's holy anointing abide here now in the oil of gladness for several moments this beautiful passage in Psalm 45 describes the Lord Jesus as the anointed one your throne O God is forever and ever a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom your throne O God is forever and ever the security of knowing that God is on his throne allows us to rest assured that he is in control over everything that concerns us he reigns above every earthly kingdom God rules let the eternal comfort of God's sovereignty settle deep in your heart for several moments we continue to hear about the precious anointing of Jesus as the psalmist writes you are fairer than the sons of men grace is poured upon your lips therefore God has blessed you forever gird your sword upon your thigh O mighty one with your glory and your majesty and in your majesty ride prosperously because of truth humility and righteousness fairer than the sons of men grace poured upon your lips with glory and majesty because of truth humility and righteousness rest in those beautiful descriptions of the Lord Jesus grace was poured upon the lips of Jesus that he would in turn bestow his grace on us oh what mercy what grace and what forgiveness we cannot comprehend the depths of his love for us for you even the deepest part of the sea is not deep enough to hold the grandeur of God's love for us for all eternity we will draw upon the waters of the Savior's love and drink deeply from the well that never runs dry hear the continual flow of living water flowing from the throne of God's grace dear one Jesus was anointed to bear our sin and shame he fixed his eyes on the cross out of his unwavering love and mercy over us his ultimate sacrifice is the foundation of our holy anointing by his grace through faith we are saved not by our own works but by the gracious gift of the father breathe deeply a breath of thankfulness to the God who saves Jesus our Savior holy and anointed one anointed 
with grace anointed with glory anointed with majesty our God reigns forever and ever rest in his glory tonight Oh Lord our Lord how majestic is your name in all the earth we praise you for you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords there is no one like you in your righteousness you reign forever and ever and in that truth we find peace by your anointing we are yours you are true to your word and you never fail us you lead us in truth and righteousness thank you God we praise you in the name of Jesus my friend as you drift off to sleep in the peaceful presence of the Lord there is yet another anointing I would like to remind you of it is far greater than the fragrant oil poured out in the tabernacle it is the everlasting anointing of the Holy Spirit of God for the word says it is God who establishes you in Christ and has anointed you he has also put his seal on you and given you his spirit in your heart as a guarantee his spirit is in your heart as a guarantee settle your heart and mind on the Holy Spirit tonight this beautiful anointing by the Holy Spirit is not to be taken lightly this anointing is the very hand of God on our lives the very same Spirit who raised Jesus dwells in us God has anointed us sealed us and inscribed on our hearts the guarantee that we will be with him forever God's promises are immovable unchangeable and unfathomable he has put his seal on us and given us his spirit in our hearts as a guarantee breathe deeply in that unchangeable immovable blessing right now therefore God your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions all your garments are scented with myrrh and aloe and cassia out of the ivory palaces by which they have made you glad with the sweet smelling aroma of God's holy anointing oil surrounding you with peace breathe softly in and out take in the fragrance of myrrh cinnamon and cassia as a soothing balm of peace and gladness God is with you he loves you he covers you with his presence most holy God we receive your anointing hand upon us tonight we rest in the presence of your Holy Spirit in the stillness of the room 
we breathe in the fragrance of your love you are holy and just we abide in your holiness now hushed and settled for you alone lead us to safe and quiet places thank you father thank you for your anointing over us by the seal of your spirit on our hearts in Jesus name amen now hear the melodious words of these lyrics from the worship song holy and anointed one let them wash over you with comfort and peace Jesus Jesus holy and anointed one Jesus Jesus risen and exalted one your name is like honey on my lips your spirit like water to my soul your word is a lamp unto my feet Jesus I love you I love you Jesus Jesus holy and anointed one rest in perfect peace under the anointing of Jesus the holy and anointed one feel the hand of the Father as he pours his oil of consecration over your life you are set apart for him you are sealed by his spirit for all eternity rest in that truth remain in his presence receive his anointing Heavenly Father we bow before you tonight before your throne in humble adoration we remain here in your presence there's no place we'd rather be father we want nothing more than to be set apart for you to walk in your ways and to honor you thank you good father for anointing your precious child with sleep tonight in your presence they are comforted and loved as you stand watch over them in the night watches they can sleep soundly knowing that you are with them thank you for covering them with your spirit they will sleep peacefully in your presence dreaming of your fragrant anointing oil making them clean whole and set apart for you in Jesus name I pray amen now is the time for the refreshing rest of quiet sleep close your eyes and allow the ease of inactivity after the busyness of your day wash over you and just let everything go if you've come here for relief and freedom especially from anything that worries and troubles you allow yourself to relax in the comfort of your bed allow yourself to follow along with the current of my voice like the trickle of a gently flowing stream no more screen time today relax your jaw if you wake in the middle of your sleep draw yourself back into the story 
may it be a natural response to press into prayer and give praise to Abba Father God to Jesus the Messiah may the utterances within you instinctively sing praises of Thanksgiving lulling you back to sleep everything here has been designed to make you comfortable and safe now let's get ready to sleep rest in this moment right now know that God has blessed you in so many ways while it may not be obvious he has protected you when you needed protecting and he has comforted you when you were broken look back over your day spend just a minute doing this for what do you feel most thankful give thanks for what do you feel least thankful give this to God take a moment to stretch out all of your muscles allowing them to relax allow the tension to melt from your body beginning at the top of your head and passing down through your body all the way to your feet be attentive to each part of your body slowly breathe in God's refreshment just allow it to happen naturally exhale the emotional toxins that may be bothering you allowing them to tumble off the side of the bed falling away so that your breathing becomes relaxed and content in God's presence your breathing becomes one with the Lord as you continue to breathe slowly and gently begin to become aware of the relaxation starting down in your legs and feet your legs begin to feel slightly heavier your muscles feel loose and flexible your legs feel slightly warmer the blood and energy can flow more freely and easily all the way down your legs through wide open blood vessels you can feel it slowly but freely pulsing down into your feet and toes acknowledge your whole self you as a person made in God's likeness you in whom God chooses to dwell as you seek holy rest embrace the calm in the abiding state of inner peace stillness and silence in the continuing deep spiritual rest of the one true God
Heavenly Father as your child prepares to rest we thank you for your love your compassion and your grace on them we give you praise because you are in control of all things give them greater faith to submit to your will in every facet of their life and continue to forgive them when they fail to be what you want them to be give them peace in the time of storms and rest when they are weary help them to forget their self and be used by you to help others as they seek to live for you help them turn loose of their own desires so that your will can be their own oh we thank you and we praise you in the name of Jesus amen the psalmist expresses his love for the Lord because God hears and answers his children when they call to him throughout the Psalms he recalls the many troubles and sorrows he has already encountered and how gracious and compassionate the Lord has been to him the Lord heard his cry and the Lord rescued him in the 138th Psalm David expresses gratitude to God this psalm helps us focus on the Lord's goodness I will praise you O Lord with all my heart I sing your praise I will bow down toward your holy temple and will praise your name for your unfailing love and your faithfulness for you have so exalted your solemn decree that it surpasses your fame when I called you answered me you greatly emboldened me may all the kings of the earth praise you Lord when they hear what you have decreed may they sing of the ways of the Lord for the glory of the Lord is great though the Lord is exalted he looks kindly on the lowly though lofty he sees them from afar though I walk in the midst of trouble you preserve my life you stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes with your right hand you save me the Lord will vindicate me your love O Lord endures forever do not abandon the works of your hands as you snuggle further into your bed your body sinks deeper into your mattress may God bring you holy rest imagine yourself outdoors on a warm and pleasant day you're standing near a pond of water that is calm and clear the surface smooth as the evening hours draw nigh the night sky provides a covering for your holy rest crickets begin to chirp alerting you that it's time for sleep the fading Sun is warm on your face the sunlight casts a peaceful palette of colors that dance 
across the shining surface of the water there is not another person in sight you slowly reach down and pick up a flat stone just like when you were a child you sidearm toss the stone across the water amazingly it skips not one two or three times but nearly a dozen you haven't lost your touch the water is so calm the stone hardly causes a ripple that same calm of the pond comes over you sending soothing and cleansing trickles of relaxation down from the top of your head in every direction to soothe heal and cleanse every muscle and cell of your body you continue to gaze at this pond nestled in among the tall pine trees just outside a mountain village this pond of water its peace causes you to become calm and restful you turn away from the pond and follow a little pathway that takes you to a perfect place a place where you can be by yourself and feel calm and comfortable and rest under a tall tree others have been here before you because you spot a fire circle near where you're sitting the smooth stone surrounding ash from previous fires like sentinels stacks of kindling and wood stand nearby you put your youthful skills to work again to start a small fire within just a few minutes the dry kindling glows bright igniting the larger pieces of wood the tall tree and its piney aroma <sighs> make the perfect spot to find holy rest your tensions begin to melt away the busyness of city life you hear the sound that surrounds you there's bullfrogs night birds chirping the crackling of the fire stirred by a gentle cooling breeze eventually amongst the bird calls you hear a gentle voice singing a beautiful song seems to be coming from the trees you hold very still as you listen the words coming to you gently on the breeze I have loved you with an everlasting love the voice sings with unfailing love I have drawn you to myself your heart sings with this sweet voice as it continues the Lord is good to all he has compassion on all he has made as you search the woods with your eyes for the bearer of that voice you see a figure dressed all in white emerge from the woods you have no fear because the words of their song have filled your heart with joy and peace as the figure walks towards you the singing continues the words for the Lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness continues through all generations 
finally they are close enough for you to recognize it's Jesus he comes closer still singing of his love for you and he sits beside you to the fire your heart bursts with joy your Savior and Lord is here by your side you sing in response sovereign Lord you are good your covenant is trustworthy and you have promised these good things to your servant the sweet dialogue between you continues with his words and your response as you sit side by side in perfect peace he says taste and see that the Lord is good oh blessed is the one who takes refuge in him you respond the Lord is good a refuge in times of trouble he cares for those who trust in him Jesus smiles into your eyes your beloved brother your Savior your friend your heart exults in God your Savior you close your eyes listening to his words over you but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not be faint for I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you he will never leave you nor forsake you do not be afraid do not be discouraged you lean into Jesus as he continues to sing and your eyes grow heavy you find yourself falling asleep deeply soundly peacefully as the Lord places his arm around you you know you're safe you know you're loved this is holy rest in the arms of Jesus as your breathing gets deeper and your eyes grow heavier through your encounter with Jesus you have found holy rest the psalmist says I will praise you Lord with all my heart I will sing your praise I will bow down toward your holy temple and will praise your name for your unfailing love and your faithfulness for you have so exalted your solemn decree that it surpasses your fame when I called you answered me you greatly emboldened me may all the kings of the earth praise you Lord when they hear what you have decreed may they sing of the ways of the Lord for the glory of the Lord is great though the Lord is exalted he looks kindly on the lowly though lofty he sees them from afar though I walk in the midst of trouble you preserve my life you stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes with your right hand you save me the Lord will vindicate me your love 
Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Loving Abba, our dear loving Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for loving this precious one so much that you sent your son to die on a cross so that your child might live with you forever. I pray that deep, restful sleep comes over the next several hours. Thank you, Father, for the innumerable ways that you demonstrate your love, protection, and provision. I pray that you will bring sweet dreams of your goodness, sweet dreams and strength and energy for a new day. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. The Lord sustains and protects you as you sleep. He is a shield guarding you throughout the night. He is the reason you have no fear. That's God's promise to you. And it was God's promise to King David 3,000 years ago, too. David was in danger and on the run. Yet, in the midst of this, he knew God would protect and provide for him. He rested in God's peace. David wrote, I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. As you prepare to enjoy this bedtime story, get comfortable and enjoy the moment. After all, you're receiving one of God's greatest gifts. Sleep. Feel your head sinking into the pillow. Stretch out your left arm, then your right arm, then your legs. Savor the sensation of your bed and your sheet and your blanket. If something is not right, then simply pause the story and continue it when you're ready. Choose a relaxing background sound on the Abide app. If you fall asleep during the story, that's great. The app will turn off on its own. Join with me as I pray. Dear Father, you are the source of peace, the God of sleep, and the reason that we live. You pour out your blessings on us each day with food and shelter. Thank you for our many blessings. The day's work is done, Lord. Now it is time to focus on rest in your kingdom. I ask that you will bless your servant with pleasant dreams. Help them to wake up, ready to spread hope and joy wherever they go. It's in your son's name that I pray. Amen. King David wrote Psalm 3 after he and his court had fled Jerusalem in the middle of the night. Tragically, his jealous son Absalom was leading a rebellion that was trying to dethrone David. Eventually, they even tried to kill him. But in the midst of this, King David's faith remained strong. 
let's take a journey back in time to 1000 BC and experience David's peace and joy in a story based on Psalm 3 and 2 Samuel you'll see how God provided for him and you'll be encouraged by knowing that the same God who provided for and protected David does the same for you as we enter our scene in ancient Israel a reddish orange Sun is rising in the east just over the distant dusty hills it's beautiful the temperature is cool but not cold there's a slight breeze blowing in from the north and you can smell the distinct aroma of lilies in the air you're a member of King David's royal court and you are tired even a little worried you fled Jerusalem in the middle of the night but why didn't God put David in power doesn't God protect his anointed everyone including King David is grieving you don't know what the future holds everyone is also hungry in the rush to escape Jerusalem most of the food was left behind King David has ordered everyone to stop walking for a moment you spot him in the crowd at 60 years old his face has aged since he took the throne 30 years ago still these wrinkles look more like wrinkles of wisdom than worry people closest to him say he's a man after God's own heart he prays often and even now as you stare at him he appears to be deep in contemplation and prayer perhaps asking the Lord for guidance suddenly he opens his eyes and speaks let's keep walking he says you put one foot in front of another wishing you could rest a little longer but you trust your king as David and the rest of the royal court slowly descends the Mount of Olives a stranger appears guiding two donkeys the animals are loaded down with the strangers goods this man has blue eyes a long black beard and a tall wooden staff as you get closer you realize it's Zeba a former servant of King Saul my king Ziba says addressing David I heard about your trouble I bring provisions your eyes quickly study the goods loaded on the donkeys it's enough food to feed King David's court several times over your heart is filled with joy God has provided a servant counts the food there's 200 loaves of bread 100 bunches of raisins 100 summer fruits including apples and pomegranates and a skin of wine hallelujah someone exclaims King David and Ziba speak for a few minutes and then one of his servants passes out the bread then the raisins then the fruit you take a large bite of a juicy red apple and savor the flavor just might be the best food you've ever had (laughs) 
and it gives you much needed energy a few moments ago you were dejected but now you are filled with optimism the living God the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob has once again taken care of his people David speaks to the group we need to keep moving but first let's worship the living God who has provided this food David begins singing he's written a new psalm to God Lord how many are my foes how many rise up against me many are saying of me God will not deliver him but you Lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side arise Lord deliver me my God strike all my enemies on the jaw break the teeth of the wicked from the Lord comes deliverance may your blessing be on your people King David often writes music but this song has special meaning to you and the others it encourages you it gives you hope King David looks at you and the others in your party urging you to join him as he sings his new psalm again Lord how many are my foes how many rise up against me many are saying of me God will not deliver him but you Lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side arise Lord deliver me my God strike all my enemies on the jaw break the teeth of the wicked from the Lord comes deliverance may your blessing be on your people you sleep well that night knowing God is guarding you several days have passed since Ziba delivered his provisions since then you've traveled by foot far from Jerusalem and across a variety of landscapes in Israel over dry barren land through a lush green forest and just the other night across the Jordan River you had forgotten how beautiful the land of Israel is no wonder your ancestors labeled it a land flowing with milk and honey no wonder they called it the promised land still you miss your hometown of Jerusalem you've prayed each day for God's deliverance but so far God has chosen to let King David live a life on the run perhaps God is teaching David a spiritual lesson perhaps God is teaching you something too
today King David has led you to a small town Maha Naim which is filled with his allies and once again you're hungry and thirsty and tired the food Ziba brought is running out perhaps we can fish somewhere around here a friend says we can't another person replies the river is at least a day's journey behind us you have heard stories of your ancestors complaining in the wilderness how they begged Moses to take them back to Egypt how they grumbled about the taste of manna how they blamed God for abandoning them you're trying your best to have strong faith in God a faith worthy of testing you remember Zeba bringing you food perhaps God will perform another miracle Yahweh you pray quietly you are the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob you've brought my ancestors into this land you've protected us you've provided for us again and again thank you Lord you are worthy of worship please don't abandon your servant David please Lord provide for us once again you are our source of strength you are the reason we live amen about two hours have passed it's the middle of the day and you've been told King David is seeking God's direction for the next move while you wait you watch two brown squirrels chasing one another up and down an oak tree these squirrels are battling for an acorn an acorn you could eat if only you had enough water and time to prepare it the entire tree in fact is filled with these bitter nuts that would make you sick if not cooked well you tell yourself at least the squirrels have enough food just then you hear the unmistakable sound of a sheep and another sheep and a third one walking alongside them are three men who are guiding not only the sheep but also five donkeys we heard you were hungry and thirsty one of the men says to the king you survey their gifts <laughs> they've brought more food than Zeba did you see wheat and barley and flour and beans and lentils and honey even even cheese it's so much that it's weighing down the donkeys but that's not all these men also brought beds to sleep in and bowls and cookware to prepare meals three of King David's servants unload the donkeys and begin cooking the meat over a fire you toss in another log ensuring there is enough heat another servant starts handing out honeycomb and cheese for those who can't wait for the meal to be ready that's you <laughs> you take a bite of honey it's even sweeter than the juicy apple you ate all those days ago you swallow it 
and instantly feel a rush of energy you feel refreshed and most of all thankful God has provided once again he has provided King David not far from you begins humming his new song then he begins singing and everyone joins in Lord how many are my foes how many rise up against me many are saying of me God will not deliver him but you Lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side arise Lord deliver me my God strike all my enemies on the jaw break the teeth of the wicked from the Lord comes deliverance may your blessing be on your people the king then sings it again Lord how many are my foes how many rise against me many are saying of me God will not deliver him but you O Lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side arise Lord deliver me my God strike all my enemies on the jaw break the teeth of the wicked from the Lord comes deliverance may your blessing be on your people that night you sleep better than you have in weeks even though you're so very far away from home even though you're living a life on the run you know the God of the universe has provided meals when hope seemed lost you know the father of Abraham Isaac and Jacob is watching over you and that he will deliver you as David's Psalm said you called out to the Lord and he answered you you laid down to sleep and he sustained you King David's army eventually defeated Absalom and the king and his royal court returned to Jerusalem but you never forgot the song that gave you hope amidst the trouble Lord how many are my foes how many rise up against me many are saying of me God will not deliver him but you Lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side arise Lord deliver me my God strike all my enemies on the jaw 
break the teeth of the wicked from the Lord comes deliverance may your blessing be on your people God the creator of the universe is watching over you he's protecting you he's a shield around you he's the lifter of your head he gives you hope when you call out to the Lord he answers just as he answered David when you lie down and sleep he sustains you you have no reason to fear because from the Lord comes deliverance you are a child of God just like a loving parent cares for a child God is caring for you right now rest in his loving arms abide in his mighty presence accept God's gift of sleep and peace let me pray for you dear father thank you for this precious child of yours I praise you for being their shield and protector as they rest thank you for being the lifter of their head now father I ask that you will grant them peace and pleasant dreams of your kingdom your word says I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me father I ask that you will help this child of yours sleep deeply and then wake up refreshed ready to serve you another day it's in Christ's name that I pray amen let's unwrap the gift of sleep tonight imagine a beautifully wrapped package handed to you by your loving creator he encourages you to untie the ribbon and just let it fall away he guides you to remove the wrapping and set it aside he waits patiently as you open the box to discover a beautiful gift the gift of sleep spend a few quiet moments embracing this gift with a heart of thankfulness to the one who loves you and cares about you please let me pray over you tonight thank you good father for the gift of sleep thank you for knowing just what your beloved child needs at the end of a long day help them release every worry and concern to you tonight please cover them with your peace and protection so they can fully relax and find true rest in your presence I pray this in the precious name of your son Jesus amen sleep 
is the cessation of labor it is the time of day that we let go of every unfinished task we surrender it to the hands of the father he will take care of it he will guard what we have committed to him take a moment to commit everything to God whatever remains undone it's okay let it go rest peacefully in the Savior tonight don't worry about a thing he's got this he's got you often when sleep eludes us it's because we're holding on to the cares of this life we struggle to let go of them because we struggle to trust God we forget that God is the head of our households he is sovereign over us as the psalmist says in Psalm 127 unless the Lord builds the house those who build it labor in vain unless the Lord watches over the city the watchman stays awake in vain dear one the Lord is watching over you tonight there is no need to stay awake with your worries or concerns for the Lord does not slumber nor sleep he will keep watch over you rest in that comforting thought for several moments the psalmist goes on to say that it is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night anxiously working for food to eat for God gives rest to his loved ones God gives rest to his loved ones you are loved by God he has given you the gift of sleep it overtakes you from head to toe you feel your whole body relax you close your eyes and take a deep breath in and slowly let it out what beautiful gifts our father gives to those he loves assurance peace relaxation security and sleep embrace his gift of sleep tonight as I pray let it become the prayer of your heart Heavenly Father thank you for your gift of sleep and what a precious gift it is I am so thankful for your presence tonight your love comforts me your gift of sleep restores me thank you Lord I believe you are sovereign over all things over my life my work and my rest I release all of my anxieties to you thank you so much for gifting me with peace and rest tonight 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, sink your head deeper into the pillow and pull the covers around you. Allow your breathing to fall into a steady rhythm in and out. in and out feel the gift of sleep envelop you like a soft cocoon gently it wraps around you securing you in the loving arms of the father like the cocoon of a butterfly sleep begins to encase you in soft silky warmth the strands of God's peace enclose you in the gentlest way possible for he is a gentle father kind and good from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet you feel safe guarded and secure rest in the security of God's love for several moments sleep is a gift for our bodies for it allows processing restoring and strengthening to take place as we drift through sleep cycles our minds are able to process the day's events we are able to organize information file it away and remember what is most important each cell in our body benefits from sleep it rejuvenates us repairs our tissues and restores us from a long day of hard work oh what a beautiful gift from our Heavenly Father he knows just what our bodies need he created us he created sleep rest in that assurance for a few moments not only do our physical bodies need sleep our spirits need God's true rest in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 we read about God's promise of rest which comes through faith in Jesus Christ for we who have believed do enter that rest we who believe we who trust we who put our faith in the Savior of our souls we enter God's promise of rest settle your heart on that promise for a few moments now please allow me to pray over you again Lord thank you for restoring your beloved one tonight every night as they sleep thank you for rejuvenating them you know just what they need you are good you are sovereign you are holy please allow true rest to come to your child tonight 
as they trust in you. Settle their minds, repair their bodies, and restore their hearts unto you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Breathe softly in and out. Inhale the sweet presence of the Lord. He is with you. Exhale the remnants of a long day. Release it all to Him. Hear the words of the psalmist again from Psalm 127, a psalm of Solomon. It is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night, anxiously working for food to eat. For God gives rest to his loved ones. Now, be assured that rising early at the start of a new day, ready to work with willing hands, is a good thing. However, starting the day with an anxious heart isn't beneficial at all. There is no need to be anxious. There is no need to fret. God is with you. Instead of rising early with burdens on your heart, consider starting your morning with a quiet meditation. Let God's word be the first words you hear each day. For his mercies are new every morning. Let his mercies flow over you now for several moments. Then, as you move through your day, no matter what comes, you can recall the sweet words of wisdom you heard that morning. In the quiet hour, before anyone else was awake, you heard from the God of all creation. You can carry His word with you as a guide, a comfort, in a peaceful meditation. At the end of the day, resist the temptation to keep working and toiling into the night. Listen to the wise words of Solomon, who said, The Lord gives sleep to his beloved. The Lord gives sleep to his beloved <laughs> you are his beloved each evening carve out some time to be still before the Lord make room in your schedule to thank him for guiding you through the day invite his presence into your household ask him to cover you as you sleep Then, as you lay your head down for the night and pull the warm covers around you, begin to unwrap God's gift of sleep. Untie the ribbon of divine rest, open the box, and embrace the gift of true rest in the Lord. His gift of sleep to you. Feel his peace in the room. Feel his presence surrounding you. Hear his words of comfort flow through you. Heart, mind, and soul. Inhale. 
and exhale. Continue to breathe softly in and out as I say a prayer over you. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, I pray over this beloved one tonight. I ask that you help them surrender their lives to you and receive the gift of true rest. I pray that they find comfort and peace in your presence. Please help them let go of anything that is on their mind or heart tonight. Thank you for loving them. Thank you for watching over them. And thank you for the gift of sleep. Amen. Before I read our scriptures, Get your mind and your body to relax. Make sure you're in a comfortable position, that your pillow is just right, that you're not too hot or too cold. Stretch and relax any tight muscles. Let go of the day's worries and cares. God is with you now. Inhale deeply breathing in God's peace and presence, and exhale, breathing out your worries. Notice your breath. Let it become regular and even, steady and calming. Ask for God's Spirit to surround you as I pray for you. Heavenly Father, as your child lies down to sleep tonight. May they lie down and sleep in peace, trusting that you alone make them dwell in safety. God, restore and strengthen this child as they listen to your words. May they fall asleep, nourished by your presence and promises. May your words guide their dreams. May they soar on eagles' wings to you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen to the words of Isaiah. Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. God, may this child be carried on eagles' wings tonight, finding new strength, nourished, by your grace and peace. Imagine soaring, lifting gently away from the ground. You see the sun beginning to set in the distance. The colors are a blaze of pink, purple, and orange below a deepening blue, and the beauty calms you. You feel the first cool breeze of evening caress your skin. You smell the soft scent of honeysuckle, and you hear crickets and secedas chirping in the distance. 
as you are lifted higher, you find that your worries are growing smaller. You're leaving them behind, below you on earth, and finally, they disappear in the distance, impossible to see anymore. From here, you can see for miles. The air is temperate, and it cradles you somewhere above the trees and below the clouds. As you survey the world around you, you see lush green hills rolling towards steeper mountains, which are stunning in beauty and covered with snow at the tops. You see a road twisting over those hills and valleys and cutting in switchbacks over the sides of the mountains. And you see a man walking on that long road. Then you hear a voice, he says. Clear the way through the wilderness for the Lord. Make a straight highway through the wasteland for our God. As you watch, the road below you is raised and straightened. The valleys are filled in. The mountains and hills are leveled. The rough places become smooth. The road below you is straight and sure, easy to walk. And it begins to shine gloriously. And you realize that man is the Lord. And the Lord is coming to save his people. The Lord is coming. He never grows weary. He never grows weak. As you look closer, you see that the road has led him to a lamb. He gently picks up the lamb and places it on his shoulder. You can see the tender love in the way he moves. As he continues to walk, a flock of sheep follow him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. He will gently lead the mother sheep with their young. His gentleness strengthens the flock. They don't grow weary either. And you, you've been soaring through the air, watching them and your body feels strong and capable, as if you too are being carried and cared for by this strong shepherd. His strength gives you strength to go on. In the distance, you see the ocean sparkle reflecting the twinkling lights of the stars and the glow of the full moon. All of this beauty was made by God, the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth, the one who loves and cares about you, who restores you and heals you, who picks you up when you fall, who gives you strength when you're weak, who makes you soar. You look up into the heavens. Who created all the stars? God brings them out like an army, one after the other, calling each one by its name because of his great power and incomparable strength. Not a single one is missing. And this great God knows every thought in your mind, numbers every hair on your head. 
He sees your troubles and he cares for you too. As you soar further over the ocean, you see a dolphin leaping with joy from the waters. You smell the tangy smell of salt water and dipping closer, feel the light spray of the tide on your skin. The ocean is vast and unsearchable. And yet God has held the oceans in his hand. The star-filled sky goes on forever, and yet God has measured off the heavens with his fingers. The earth is marked with mountains and hills, and yet God knows their weight, knows every pebble and flower, every chirping bird, every cautious deer. God's wisdom is unsearchable. This God is holding you in his hands. You have nothing to fear. As you soar higher again, you see the nations spread out below you, all the peoples of the earth. Some praise God with you. You know that one day all people will bow before this great and mighty God and sing his praises. You want to call to them now to invite them into the life of joy that God offers. You want to say, have you never heard, have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. God's grace has done this for you. God's grace has given you new strength and taken away your weariness. God's grace has restored you. You can now walk with God forever without growing weary. God's love for you reaches to the highest heavens. His faithfulness stretches to the skies. The God of all the earth, of all wisdom and power and glory is with you now, holding you in his arms, singing over you, delighting in you. Accept the gift of God's grace. Let yourself rest in his arms. Let Jesus draw you closer to the Father. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you with peace and comfort. Abide with God now, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let me pray for you. God of wonders, thank you for lifting this child of yours up on eagle's wings. Thank you for restoring their strength. Thank you for revealing yourself to them. Help 
them now to rest peacefully, to be refreshed, to be refilled, and to trust in you to be their strength whenever they grow tired or weary. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Tonight, I will tell you a comforting story about the gift of God's favor. And just in case you are wondering, God's favor is the undeserved grace that He chooses to give because He loves and delights in us. So, settle your mind on the gift of God's love and delight over you. Receive His undeserved grace and know that He loves you with an everlasting love. Now, please allow me to pray over you. Good and gracious God, I pray for this listener tonight, your beloved child, who is resting in your presence and seeking the gift of your favor. Thank you for being with them. Please calm their mind and rein in all the thoughts that are not of you. Cover them with the warmth of your love and help them know that they are held by you. In the name of your Son, Jesus, I ask for the gift of your favor to be revealed to them as they fall asleep. Please remind them that your presence alone is a divine blessing. Help them feel safe and secure in your love and provision tonight. Thank you, good Father. It is in the name of your Son, Jesus, I pray. Amen. As we hear this sweet meditation from Psalm chapter 5, I encourage you to allow the words to stream over you and through you as living water for your soul. As the Psalm of David begins, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you, I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Allow the meditations of your heart to be poured out freely to the Father. He hears you, even when you don't say a word. He considers everything about you. As Psalm 40, verse 5 says, Your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. Rest peacefully in the knowledge that God thinks about you. His thoughts toward you are more than can be numbered. Thank you, God, that you would keep us in mind, that your thoughts over us are too numerous to count. We are so undeserving of you, yet your word reminds us that you will never leave us nor forsake us. We are humbled by the gift of your favor, the gift of your love and mercy. Thank you, Father. We love you. In Jesus' name. Continue to rest peacefully as I share a story, a narrative of God's gift of divine favor. A young man walked along the beach at night. He was praying and seeking God's will for his life. And as he walked, he looked for a sign of God's favor. As he stood at the ocean's edge, letting the cool water lap over his feet, he looked up at the moonlit sky thanking God for his magnificent creation. He marveled at the fact that God knew each star by name, stars as numerous as the sand on the seashore. Then something in the distance caught his eye. It was a unique star formation, one he had never seen before. The stars were in the unmistakable shape of a cross. 
and as he gazed upon that cross in the night sky, he immediately sensed the Lord say, My dear child, I have given you everything through my son Jesus. I have given you everything. The gift of God's favor has been poured out on us through the cross of Jesus Christ. Rest in the shadow of the cross tonight, knowing that God has provided everything for you. The young man's life was changed that night. All clouds of uncertainty were lifted away, for he knew that he only needed to look up and find what he had been looking for all along, peace and favor in Christ Jesus. Feel the clouds lift away as the Holy Spirit reminds you of the divine favor you have in Christ. Be covered in his peace tonight. The gift of God's favor is unmerited and undeserved. Yet, through His Son, it is given freely to all who would receive it. Receive the gift of God's favor through Jesus tonight. Heavenly Father, giver of all good things, thank you for giving your child the gift of your favor tonight. Thank you for reminding them of your Son and His sacrifice on the cross. Please, Lord, help this beloved person rediscover your divine favor, the gift of salvation and hope in you. Bless them, keep them, guard and guide them as only you can. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry my King and my God, for to you I will pray. The cry of the young man's heart was heard by God. All of his prayers were poured out to the Father on the moonlit beach that night. And by God's grace, he was reminded of what he had already been given. My King and my God, to you I pray. Rest in the presence of your King and your God. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. Better is one day in the house of the Lord than a thousand elsewhere. Feel the holiness of his presence as you envision being in the house of the Lord, kneeling before his throne. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Make your way straight before my face. God's righteousness was given to us through the sacrifice of His Son. In Jesus Christ alone, we are shown the way. All the crooked places are made straight. Every confusing idea is clarified in Him, and we know that He will make His way clear before our eyes. Breathe in and let it out. Rest in the righteousness of Christ. Lord, please make your way straight for this beloved person tonight, for your way is good and your will is pleasing. Straighten all the crooked places and restore this child as they sleep, as they surrender their lives to you and rest deeply in your presence. Please cover them in the multitude of your mercy and the gift of your favor. In the name of Jesus, amen. But let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as with a shield. 
You, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. The gift of God's favor is truly a gift, unmerited and undeserved. His love delights our souls, and through His limitless grace and mercy, He gives us the gift of His favor. Rest in God's grace and mercy tonight. Breathe deeply of His love for you. Exhale in the calm presence of His Spirit. Lord God, consider this beloved child tonight. Gently remind them of what you've already given them. Speak over them in hushed tones and lull them into a deep and peaceful sleep. Thank you for assuring them that you are with them. And thank you for the gift of Jesus the Savior. It is in his name I pray. Amen. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. And I will look up. For the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Thank you, Father. Thank you that we can always look up and find you. Let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as with a shield. Feel the blessing of God on your life through the gift of his favor and his presence as a shield. Rest peacefully tonight. Holy God, keeper of our souls, please keep this beloved child in the fold of your arms tonight, right where they are. Cradle them in the gift of your favor. Be their shield and their protector as they sleep. Help them dream of heavenly things, things that are promised for them. Continue to show yourself in the wonders of creation and remind them that through your Son, they have received the gift of your favor forever and ever. Amen. Take a slow, deep breath. As we journey through the mountains and valleys of Psalm 121 to reflect on God's comfort and provision for you, Remember, God loves you and cares for you. All the help you'll ever need comes from Him. Allow me to pray over you as you begin to dream and drift into a peaceful night of sleep. Lord God, I ask you to watch over your child tonight. Hold them in the fold of your tender, loving arms. Father, I pray for deep rest and security for this dear and wonderful person that you love and care for. Give them visions and dreams of your hope. Refresh them for a new day. Be their help in time of need and allow them to sleep deeply tonight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Imagine that you are in a peaceful valley. It's lush and green with glorious rolling hills that rise and fall into the distance. Wildflowers dot the landscape with vibrant color. Yellow daffodils, white jasmine with sweet-smelling petals. You walk slowly through the valley in perfect peace. 
breathing the fresh spring air up above you see a clear blue sky with wispy clouds floating overhead there is stillness and peace all around you are fully content and fully relaxed in the valley Jesus is there with you he is happy that you want to spend time with him here see the glow of his smile as you walk side by side you hear Jesus speak Psalm 121 out loud to you the words fill the valley alive with his spirit they calm your heart mind and soul I will lift my eyes to the hills where does my help come from my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth he will not allow your foot to be moved he who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps Israel shall never slumber nor sleep the Lord is your keeper the Lord is your shade at your right hand the Sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night the Lord shall preserve you from all evil he shall preserve your soul the Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore you come to a soft blanket spread out for you in the shade the Sun will not strike you by day nor the moon by night Jesus invites you to rest right here and you lie dreamily in the valley the Lord is your keeper he who keeps you will not slumber he keeps Israel safe and he will keep you safe he will neither sleep nor slumber your heart fills with the comfort that God is your keeper your protector your guide his spirit fills your room he shall preserve you from all evil you fall you drift slowly softly asleep your mind is refreshed your arms and back feel light and restored from deep sleep Jesus walks again with you through the valley he continues speaking Psalm 121 over you slowly like a command making each word true I lift up my eyes to the hills from where does my help come from 
as you walk through the beautiful green valley the gentle rolling hills rising up all around you you know where your help comes from he is standing right beside you in glowing robes <laughs> the risen Lord he is so peaceful you are immersed in a sense of stillness and security as you look around at the magnificent landscape you know just by the beauty of creation that God is your creator your provider your help you also know that the psalmist does not look to nature for help as beautiful as the hills may be the psalmist's help comes from the very one who made the hills the heavens and the earth God my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth the Lord God is with you in the valley God the Father calls out to you from the hills your heart rejoices at his voice you call out to him and before a word is even on your tongue he knows it he is already sending the help you need at just the right time and in just the right way he will not let your foot be moved he who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep you are amazed by the faithfulness of God the one who does not slumber or sleep he never grows weary of that you can be sure he is a constant presence in your life you feel his presence now your feet are steady on solid ground you have nothing to fear the Lord is your keeper the Lord is your shade on your right hand the Sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night the warmth of the Sun is shining down on you and you bask in its light and when it becomes too hot God becomes your shade the coolness on your face he is your keeper and guardian you allow yourself to relax fully in his loving arms he is guiding you and the way you should go even in the night watches when the way seems dark and unfamiliar your foot does not stumble his spirit is there to lead you feel him leading you tonight no matter how dark it seems your footsteps are sure the Lord will keep you from all evil he will keep your life the safety you feel in the fold of the Lord's loving arms is the most secure feeling in the world all the cares of life have faded into the night 
you are able to breathe deeply and know that you are completely safe no evil can touch you for the Lord is keeping you from everything that is harmful or contrary to his love for you your very life is held fastly in the palm of his hand you've never felt so protected it's as if walls of love have been placed around you so that nothing can reach you you are surrounded by God's perfect peace the Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever more as you go through the valley and find pasture your life is locked in and secured in the fold of the great Shepherd he watches over your coming and your going there is nothing that escapes his sovereignty he is your keeper he keeps watch over you from this time forth now and forevermore tomorrow God will watch over you he will guide your steps the peace of Jesus will guard your heart from this time forth and forevermore you are kept by the love of the Lord he is your help in time of need he is your rock your fortress and your deliverer now be still rest deeply and know that God is with you allow his presence to cover you as you sleep in total peace tonight dream peacefully as I pray gracious God thank you for your provision over your loved one tonight I ask for healing rest and peaceful sleep as they trust in you help them always to remember that their help comes from you alone in Jesus' holy name I pray amen may the Lord bless you and keep you may the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Imagine it. Lying down in a beautiful, lush, green pasture. Beside a quiet, soothing stream. Not a care in the world. only feeling refreshed feeling restored protected guided consoled and loved yes there are shadows there is darkness but never so oppressing that it's to be feared because God is with you he has been he is and he will be for all eternity the 23rd Psalm is one of the most beloved of all passages of Scripture 
King David who wrote the psalm grew up and worked as a shepherd so he knew a lot about sheep and shepherding he loved seeing the Lord as a shepherd the shepherd's job is to care for you make you feel safe nourished calm and peaceful whether your life feels peaceful tonight your father in heaven is the good shepherd and is present to love and care for you so get comfortable in your bed lay your head on your pillow pull up your covers around you and relax breathe deeply and slowly to calm your mind and body breathe in and say this the Lord is my shepherd breathe out and say I shall not want relax your muscles release the tension from your shoulders and neck rest safely in the comfort of your good Shepherd this evening as countless others have for thousands of years before you settle in as the story of the 23rd Psalm transforms you listen now to Psalm 23 from the New King James Version the Lord is my Shepherd I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup runs over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever as you rest even more deeply listen once again as you immerse yourself in this verse the Lord is your Shepherd he is here with you to feed you to guide you and to shield you you shall not want see his eyes how he looks at you the intense care and love the look that says he knows everything about you and yet loves you anyway it's impossible for him to love you any more than he does right now rest there he makes you lie down in green pastures feel the cool grass the blue sky 
the warmth on your face soak up everything you imagine around you can you hear the birds twittering happily a gentle breeze stirs your hair smell the sweet scent of the grass and the nearby wildflowers you are in a safe haven a wide open space well guarded by your loving Shepherd he leads you beside the still and quiet waters hear it bubbling nearby gentle soothing refreshing hear it smell it dangle your toes and your feet in it it is there to soothe you you dip your cupped hand in and pull out a handful of cool water you lean your head down to drink Ah, feel the life that it gives you drink deeply of the living water that is Jesus to your soul he restores your soul your life everything is made new revived refreshed in this time of sleep your strength will be renewed like the Eagles you will run and not grow weary you will walk and not faint he will strengthen you he will uphold you with his righteous right hand your head will be lifted up your rest will be deep and sweet he leads you in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake not wandering but guided down a path a well-worn path a known path a chosen path for you for you for him for your eternity for his name for his glory his light shines on that path his word is a lamp for your feet even though you walk through the sunless valley you will fear no evil for you are with him yes there are shadows yes there are storms yes there is distant thunder but no storm surprise God no thunder bothers him no shadows catch him unaware rest in his strength present in storms see the growth the rain causes notice the flowering the tempest brings God is with you he is by your side he shelters you in his wings you are his forever his rod is there to protect you his staff to guide you to comfort and console you gentle prodding tender reminding a rod that's protective of you 
a staff that serves to guide you away from harm to comfort you to console you feel soothed now by your Heavenly Shepherd he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies he prepares it the creator of the universe the author of time he prepares for you before you in the presence of your enemies God's focus is on you preparing for you providing for you sit at the table he has prepared see all the gifts that he has laid out before you luscious and sweet fruits dripping with their juices warm and yeasty breads that make your mouth water with their scent cheese freshly made all that is good nutritious and lovely to behold is before you on a laden table ready for you to partake he has anointed and refreshed your head with oil feel his hands on your head feel the oil in his hands the oil running through your hair dripping down your cheeks oil mixed with tears his tears of joy your tears of love feel chosen feel loved feel anointed your cup overflows his blessings don't just fill you they overflow you feel it see it his blessings spilling out of your heart your mind your body and your soul running over to those around you you have an abundance to share God's love his protection his nurture his very self it's too much to contain <laughs> you long to share it with others surely goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow you all the days of your life walk along stop for a moment and look behind you what do you see who do you see see goodness following you see mercy see unfailing love always present always close walking and step right behind you listen carefully and hear those steps and you shall dwell forever throughout all of your days in the house and in the presence of the Lord dwell not just in any old place but living and staying as a permanent resident in the house and presence of God not an earthly place of sticks and mud but a heavenly palace built by the Creator himself and not just today but tomorrow all week every month year decade century millennia for all time 
forever. Now, rest in the green pasture, by the still water. Rest safe from harm. Allow God's presence to free you, to save you. Breathe it in, God's peace. And breathe out all of your worries. Our gracious Heavenly Father, our Good Shepherd, thank you for leading us and your precious child to the green pasture, for making them lie down and rest. I pray tonight that they would feel your presence all around them, that they would revel in the goodness that you have brought to them. May they hear your voice of comfort and feel your hands of care on them. When they are afraid, may they trust in you, knowing that you care for them so very much. Take all worry away, Lord, as you walk with them through their valleys. Remind them moment by moment of your care and provision for them. Help them to sleep, Lord, knowing that you will stay by their side. You will never leave them nor forsake them. You never slumber, nor do you sleep, so that they can be sure you are ever watchful over them. Teach them as they sleep tonight to partake of your abundant provision help them to see all around them that you have given them every good gift everything they need for life and salvation you show them the path of righteousness you lead them wherever you need them to go you will never ever abandon them comfort them in your sweet rest tonight Lord as numerous as the stars are in the sky are the grains of sand on all the beaches in the world so vast is your love for them let your love envelop them like a blanket keeping them safe and warm let the clear waters restore their soul Jesus is the living water and may they thirst for nothing else as the deer pants for the waters may their soul pant for you the living God we thank you and praise you for your loving care in Jesus name amen in this often overlooked scene from Scripture John describes a time when Jesus cooked a meal for the disciples he provided for them he comforted them he forgave them he does the same for you each day now close your eyes and unwind let your head sink into your pillow Stretch out your legs and arms. Get comfortable as you meditate on God's loving care. Take a deep breath. Breathe in the peace of Christ. Now, breathe out the worries of the day relax you're in the palm of God's hand you're his child he loves and cares for you ask for God's Spirit to surround you as I pray dear Heavenly Father our Creator and provider I thank you for this precious child you created 
I thank you for their talents their gifts their heart for you I ask that you will fill them with your patience and with your peace I ask that you will calm their muscles and their mind I pray that you will grant them dreams about your wonders and your glory refresh them as they rest protect them as they sleep help them grow closer to you I pray this in Jesus name amen now imagine you are Peter Jesus disciple several days have passed since Jesus rose from the dead you've seen the risen Christ you've spoken with him you've touched his body but on this cool crisp night you and a few friends have decided to go fishing on the Sea of Tiberias or better known as the Sea of Galilee James and John have tagged along so have Nathaniel and Thomas and a couple of others it's the perfect night for fishing the wind is calm so is the water as you get ready to push the boat out to sea you take a deep breath and enjoy the smells of the night the moisture of the air the blooming plants along the shore your feet dig into the still warm sand as a seagull races along the shore just a few feet away hunting for worms you listen as the waves gently splash on the shore over and over and over you look up at the dark cloudless sky what do you see thousands of stars are shining far too many to count you find the North Star you gaze at the Big Dipper you marvel at Jupiter Saturn and Mars it brings thoughts of worship to your mind Jesus made those stars and planets the same Jesus that I know created them <laughs> the thought is overwhelming to the east the moon slowly begins to rise then you hear a voice Peter let's get going it's John he and James are needing help pushing the boat from shore you place your hands onto the wooden hull and gently thrust into the sea everyone jumps in and grabs a paddle you begin rowing what a night to fish you say to the others you look up once again at the twinkling stars in the sky you find the Milky Way the words of David from Psalm 19 come to mind the heavens proclaim the glory of God the skies display his craftsmanship day after day they continue to speak night after night they make him known they speak without a sound or word their voice is never heard yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all the world six hours have passed since you pushed the boat into the water but for some reason the fish aren't biting tonight 
everyone is tired Thomas suggests quitting and going home the Sun will be rising soon he says you look to the east you see a faint orange red glow on the horizon you glance again at the moon then at the stars then again at the palette of brilliant but dim colors caused by the dance between day and night you remember why you enjoy morning so much then you hear a voice from a man on the shore he's about a hundred yards away do you have any fish he asks it's too dark to make out his face no you reply he suggests cast the net on the right side of the boat and you will find some you're skeptical but something within you tells you to give it a try you stand up in the boat careful to maintain your balance James John and the others do the same everyone grabs the wet heavy net one two three someone says and the net flies through the air into the sea a few minutes later Thomas and John begin pulling up the net but it won't budge they ask for help look Thomas says surprised it's filled with fish John too is shocked yet his emotions quickly turn to joy as he points to the shore it is the Lord you look at the shore and see Jesus watching you and the others he, he's smiling you think you even see him chuckle <laughs> he's the reason you caught these fish the miracle worker performed another miracle filled with awe and wonder and elation you dive into the water and swim to shore you then run to Jesus his arms are stretched out you hug him he hugs back and then you remember what he told you long ago he will always provide for your needs it seems like it was just yesterday you were watching him preach to the crowds on mountainside as he said do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will wear is not life more than food and the body more than clothes look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your Heavenly Father feeds them are you not much more valuable than they can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life and why do you worry about clothes see how the flowers of the field grow they do not labor or spin yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these if that is how God clothes the grass of the field which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire will he not much more clothe you you of little faith so do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for the pagans run after all these things and your Heavenly Father knows that you need them but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness 
and all these things will be given to you as well therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own you and Jesus trade stories about the past few days the past few weeks the past few years (laughs) you laugh he laughs this is the third time you have seen him since he rose from the dead but you're still amazed you thought he would be dead forever but now he's standing right in front of you alive breathing talking you're overcome with emotions go warm yourself he says he has prepared a charcoal fire for you and the other disciples sparks rise to the sky smoke does too it's a splendid calming sight you're still wet and cold from your earlier swim so you walk to the fire its warmth feels incredible on your skin the other disciples are back at shore they join you Jesus looks around bring some of the fish that you have just caught he says you're dry and warm now so you volunteer to get them you walk across the sand board the boat and begin gathering the fish you also count them there's 153 fish you tell John everyone is amazed come and have breakfast Jesus says you remember the times you failed Jesus but he forgave you he restored you he loves you unconditionally he's even prepared breakfast for you you remember the words of the psalmist he does not punish us for all our sins he does not deal harshly with us as we deserve for his unfailing love toward those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth he has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west the Lord is like a father to his children tender and compassionate to those who fear him for he knows how weak we are he remembers we are only dust Jesus loves you he protects you he provides for you he forgives you much like a mother caring for a sleeping baby God is holding you in his arms rest in his care abide in his presence please let me pray for you now holy God thank you for this sweet child of yours thank you for their desire to know you more thank you for their longing to love you more thank you for their heart thank you for the peace and the rest and the infinite love that only you provide I ask that you God will grant them your patience your presence in your peace as they rest it's in Jesus name that I pray 
Amen. Jesus is with you. He protects you. He provides for you. He forgives you. He loves you. Trust in Christ. Abide in Christ. Rest in Christ. Now, imagine you are Peter, Jesus' disciple. Several days have passed since Jesus rose from the dead. You've seen the risen Christ. You've spoken with him. You've touched his body. But on this cool, crisp night, you and a few friends have decided to go fishing on the Sea of Tiberias, or better known as the Sea of Galilee. James and John have tagged along. So have Nathaniel and Thomas and a couple of others. It's the perfect night for fishing. The wind is calm. So is the water. As you get ready to push the boat out to sea, you take a deep breath and enjoy the smells of the night, the moisture of the air, the blooming plants along the shore. Your feet dig into the still warm sand as a seagull races along the shore just a few feet away hunting for worms you listen as the waves gently splash on the shore over and over and over you look up at the dark cloudless sky what do you see thousands of stars are shining far too many to count you find the North Star you gaze at the Big Dipper you marvel at Jupiter Saturn and Mars it brings thoughts of worship to your mind Jesus made those stars and planets the same Jesus that I know created them <laughs> the thought is overwhelming to the east the moon slowly begins to rise then you hear a voice Peter let's get going it's John he and James are needing help pushing the boat from shore you place your hands onto the wooden hull and gently thrust into the sea. Everyone jumps in and grabs a paddle. You begin rowing. What a night to fish, you say to the others. You look up once again at the twinkling stars in the sky. You find the Milky Way. The words of David from Psalm 19 come to mind. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day, they continue to speak. Night after night, they make him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth in their words to all the world and in Psalm 3 5 the psalmist writes I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me 
so as you lay your weary body under the sheet and blanket allow yourself to sink into the bed and allow the pillow to carry the weight of your head feeling your bed carry the weight of your body like plants need water to survive your body and mind needs rest to renew itself close your eyes breathe in peaceful thoughts exhale worry and anxiety stretch your feet and toes relieving tight muscles slowly rotating your ankles feel the sense of relief in your tired feet that have carried you to and fro throughout the day relax now Heavenly Father how I thank you for bringing me safely to the end of the day and I praise and thank you for your loving kindness and great goodness to me today thank you for the many blessings and provisions that you bestowed on me for keeping me safe and guiding me and bringing me once again to that time of day when I can recharge my spirit and soul with a refreshing night's sleep forgive me I pray if I have said or done anything that was not honoring to your name or have sought to do things in my own strength rather than relying totally on you for I praise you that your grace is sufficient for your strength is perfected in my weakness and now Lord as I lie down I pray that you would watch over me to protect and keep me safe give me a deep and refreshing sleep and may I cast any burdens or difficulties on you and not allow my mind to fret or worry for you have promised to carry all my burdens if I will just give them to you protect those I love and father draw those who are far from you close to your embrace I thank you that my life is safe in your arms this I pray in Jesus name amen with your eyes closed our journey tonight takes us to a beautiful forest the pine trees tower above your head the lingering rays of sunlight fade as the evening darkness takes over the light of day through the haze of the dusk sky you see a cabin in the distance a candle flickers through the windows it seems strange that this cabin would be in such a secluded place but you are tired could this be my place of rest for the evening you ask yourself as you approach the inviting quaint cabin in the woods you notice the door is slightly open a crooked sign hanging on an old rusty nail reads come in make yourself at home even though the sign says you are welcome you hesitate 
but you slowly push open the worn wooden door to peek in as you look into the cabin Jesus says come in my child he says I've been waiting for you he looks at you and says let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these then because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat he says to you come with me to a quiet place and get some rest in the corner of the cabin you notice a bed made of willow wood and two fluffy pillows leaning against the headboard crafted of bent willow branches as Jesus in a rocking chair next to the warmth of a fire he says I am the vine you are the branches whoever abides in me and I in him he it is that bears much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing if anyone does not abide in me he is thrown away like a branch and withers and the branches are gathered thrown into the fire and burned you begin to drift off to sleep under the watchful eye of Jesus the Son of God the Prince of peace Jesus repeats those words as found in John 15 56 remember my child I am the vine you are the branches whoever abides in me and I in him he it is that bears much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing if anyone does not abide in me he is thrown away like a branch and withers and the branches are gathered thrown into the fire and burned the fruit that Jesus speaks of is simply evidence of your relationship with him fast asleep now in this little cabin in the woods you realize you've not known this place of peace before you become more comfortable in your bed as the candle flickers across the room Jesus continues to pray for you as he sits in his handmade rocking chair as you drift further into a land of dreams do you see the vineyard just outside the cabin you hadn't noticed it on your journey to the cabin as there is a thick wall of darkness but now you see miles and miles of grapevines each plant is loaded with grapes imagine the growth you see in your life as the fullness of Christ's resurrection fuels and nurtures such growth imagine the fruitfulness that you would like to see and know that God supports you in pursuing it Jesus continues to watch over you as you drift into a deep sleep abide in Jesus now rest in God's grace the rhythm of your breathing gets deeper and deeper abide in him and he will abide in you
as Philippians 1 6 says he who began a good work in you will complete it father as I come to the end of another very busy day I praise and thank you for the gift of sleep and the wonderful way that the nighttime hours seem to sweep away all my cares and melt away all my worries as I rest in you thank you that I may confidently cast all our cares and concerns upon you and lay all of our burdens down at your feet knowing that you love me with a perfect love and care for me with fatherly concern keep me safe this night from any perils and dangers and lighten the darkness of this night with your perfect peace your gracious tranquility and your serene grace protect me through the hours of darkness thank you that you are my shield and protection my rock of salvation and my hope and strength hold me close Lord Jesus I pray that I may sleep securely knowing that you are by my bed every moment of the night thank you that moment by moment I am kept in your love amen rest in the truth of God's Word as you abide in Christ remember Proverbs 3 24 when you lie down you will not be afraid when you lie down your sleep will be sweet continue to sleep knowing abide in him and Jesus will abide in you in this bedtime story we will be reminded of all the ways God is so good to us even when it seems like the world is anything but good God's kindness generosity and faithfulness is evident to all the imprint of his mighty hand is displayed throughout all of creation the glory of his goodness is seen across the heavens and throughout the earth he is a good good father indeed but before we begin make yourself even more comfortable under your warm covers rest your head gently on your pillow get cozy and take a few deep breaths in and out allow your breathing to fall into a steady rhythm inhale exhale invite the Holy Spirit to fill the room and watch over you as you sleep whisper softly the name of Jesus allowing his peace to cover you his perfect peace
steady your breathing into a gentle rhythm in and out in and out let go of all other thoughts and concerns tonight God is so good he loves you very much his goodness never fails you can always count on him breathe in and out in and out relax in the peace of God as I say a prayer over you tonight Heavenly Father please cover your beloved one as they find true rest in you please help them know that you are with them please cover them with your love and your goodness as a soft blanket envelop them in the comfort of your peace in the name of Jesus I pray amen now as I share the beautiful reminders from Scripture the reminders of God's goodness sink your head deeper into your pillow and completely relax every muscle in your body inhale and exhale It was the Apostle Paul in the book of Acts who reminded the people of Lystra that God's goodness could always be counted on he encouraged them to turn away from worthless things things that could not be counted on and turn to the Living God now Lystra was an ancient village built upon a modest hill rising from the surrounding plains of Asia Minor with the grandeur of mountains to the west and to the south this Roman colony was mentioned as the hometown of Timothy one of the young men Paul mentored in his faith Paul visited Lystra on more than one occasion preaching the gospel and healing a man who had been lame from birth on one of his visits Paul encouraged the believers of Lystra that even though the Lord had allowed the nations to walk in their own ways he never left them without evidence of himself and his goodness God never left them even through trial and hardship the evidence of his goodness was all around them what an encouragement the evidence of God's goodness surrounds us as well it is seen in the illustrations of nature as each new day is yet another portrait of God's exquisite artistry from blue ocean tides and sandy beaches to flowering meadows and lush green forests God's goodness is evident to all
be assured of God's goodness of his presence in your life no matter what is going on in the world the Lord is with you every step of the way allow that thought to surround you with peace tonight breathe softly in and out as Paul continued to encourage the believers in Lystra with the beautiful testimony of the Lord he pointed out that it is God who sends the rain provides good crops and gives joyful hearts to his beloved God sends the rain hear it falling gently from the clouds to water the earth like small pebbles hitting the ground in a cadence of rhythmic wonder sometimes the raindrops fall so softly they can barely be heard other times sheets of rain come in waves and torrents cascading down like a waterfall from heaven yet each drop fulfills its purpose offering much needed moisture to the dry and thirsty ground the earth drinks in the rain and silently begs for more let the showers of God's goodness fall gently on your soul tonight drink in the sweetness of his presence inhale and exhale not only does the Lord water the ground he cultivates the earth causing good crops to burst forth and grow as sustenance for his people in various places fields of grain spread out like quilts across the landscape some of the fields are circular some are square and some are shaped like pieces of a puzzle each crop provides what is needed for that region as you gaze upon the fields from above you see that some are deep green like emeralds dotting the landscape these include clover parsley and fennel other crops appear like vast treasures of pure gold they sway in the wind waving their greeting to the passerby wheat corn oats and rye fields of grain sustenance good and perfect gifts from our father in heaven bask in the abundant blessings of the Lord tonight continue to breathe gently in and out in steady rhythm allowing your body to fully relax 
inhale and exhale as I pray over you good and gracious Lord thank you for your presence tonight you are good you are holy I thank you for this listener who has invited your spirit to cover them as they sleep please help them rest deeply in your goodness knowing that you are with them bless them Lord with peace in the precious name of your son I pray sense the soothing calming presence of the Lord tonight breathe in his goodness breathe out all your cares he is with you Paul finished his message to the people in Lystra by reminding them that God is the giver of joyful hearts allow the Holy Spirit to fill your heart with joy tonight it is his good and perfect gift to you he has joy in abundance it is a fruit that never fails to be produced in the heart that fully trusts in him oh taste and see that the Lord is good blessed is the man who trusts in him taste and see the Lord is good trust in him and be blessed you can trust in the goodness of God breathe softly in and out allow the comfort of the Holy Spirit to wash over you he gives you the deepest sense of peace not as the world gives but deeper peace than anything you've ever known in the book of Exodus We read that the Lord God is merciful and gracious long-suffering and abounding in goodness and truth let those truths seek deep into your heart he is merciful he is gracious he is patient he is full of truth and he is so so good rest in these beautiful descriptions of God tonight as you gaze into the heavens on a starry night there is no doubt that the glory of the Lord fills every bit of space unwavering unchanging for every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of the heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows every good and perfect gift comes from the father let that promise reassure your heart tonight
the father of the heavenly lights does not change like shifting shadows as the hymnist said there is no shadow of turning with thee hear the soft melody of those words there is no shadow of turning with thee remain in the comfort of God's unfailing love stay in the presence of his spirit rest in the silence for several moments God does not change he remains steadfast and true to his word you can rely on him you can trust in his goodness for every good and perfect gift comes from the father slow your breathing in and out softly gently deeply God is so good to us I am reminded of the simple chorus God is so good God is so good God is so good he's so good to me the evidence of his goodness is all around you it envelops you like a soft cloud of comfort sink deeper under the covers relax every muscle in your body inhale and exhale as I pray over you most merciful God full of grace I pray over your beloved child tonight I ask that you blanket them with peace as they rest securely in you help them settle into the deepest of sleep so that they will awaken refreshed and restored thank you good good father for being with them tonight in Jesus name amen your eyes are closed your head rests gently on your pillow you continue breathing deeply and slowly relaxing the sound of the wind blowing eases your soul you think about the dreams and visions that God has promised to give to his people you long for that you ask God to show you himself in your dreams you ask God to show you himself in your dreams I'm so glad you asked for that says a faraway voice come you look around wondering who is talking to you no one is there but feel a presence a warm glow growing inside you you step outside and begin to walk slowly down a path on one side glimmers of sunlight shine upon a river flowing with crystal blue water tall trees full of life and bearing fruit you've never seen 
decorate the bank brightly colored flowers of purple red orange and pink burst through the ground the other side of the path is full of flowers and trees as well but there is no fruit on the trees the flowers are wilted the colors fading some are tangled in weeds the river is stagnant you come to a fork in the path and pause you listen for the voice that beckoned you out of bed but there is only silence I'm still here you look up and even though you don't see anyone you realize this is the voice of God I pour out my spirit on everyone but not everyone recognizes me the two sides of the path are examples of what happens when you believe in me and when you try and do things on your own when you spend time with me listen to my words pay attention to the signs wonders dreams and visions I send you every day you will survive every storm life brings every day you will get stronger when you share my love with others you will experience miracles you will do great and mighty things in my name God motions to the other side of the path when you do things the world's way when you don't follow in my footsteps and listen for my voice life is harder you don't have the peace I promised I created you to soar on wings like eagles I am always blessing my people with signs wonders visions and dreams but some are too busy to listen others have let their hearts become hardened some people have an idea of me but that idea is only a part of me they like to keep me in a box they dismiss the supernatural power the very nature of me therefore when the rain comes and the storms of life hit they aren't able to experience the fullness of me within them it is my deepest desire that all of my people experience the fullness of me I send them just like I am sending you tonight dreams visions signs and wonders to stir their spirit I want to renew your heart and revive your soul I want you to walk in victory and in power this is my will my purpose and my plan for you you hold on to God's voice it leads you over a steep hill mist fills the foggy air you pause to wipe the dew from your eyes you hear the laughter of children you take one more step up and stand still in awe majestic mountains surround you people of all ages colors and nationalities dive into breathtaking turquoise water their smiles exceed their faces it's as if they are diving into life they throw their heads back laughing and rejoicing in glorious glee there is a white beach the sun shines brilliantly the sand feels like silk children sit at a small white picnic table while adults read with them they're shaded by enormous trees draped with Spanish moss that looks like tinsel hung on a Christmas tree 
you reach down and dip your hand into the water instinctively you pull your hand back the water is electric powerful it feels like love are you in heaven you've never felt like this before love penetrates through the air it radiates from the heart of every person you feel it in the water you want to stay here longer but like a soft breeze you feel yourself drifting away you now find yourself in a forest full of tall thick trees there is very little light you're on a path but sometimes that path is hard to see you squint trying to see through the darkness you smell the sharp scent of decomposing leaves the wetness of a recent rain the gravel path under your feet seems firm enough but not being able to see concerns you you take a timid step forward when you find your feet still firmly on the path you take another step then you feel the presence of the Lord beside you taking your hand gripping it firmly yet gently You can trust me, he says. I will not let you go. I know the way perfectly. I will walk with you through this darkness. I will walk with you through this darkness. Your heart is calmed. Your breathing slows. You begin to notice the light filtering through the swaying branches the birds calling to each other through the leaves the small yellow flower poking its way through the thick underbrush God is showing you beauty where you thought there was just darkness his presence has shown the light on this dark path you are filled with peace once again you are swept away to a green lush valley the Sun shines brightly there is a small stream running swiftly through the center of the valley bubbling crisply over small stones it's idyllic brown gray black and tan horses graze peacefully there are no signs of fear in them you breathe in the scent of warm grass feeling the softness under your feet you sit and wait for something and then beside you is the Lord his eyes soft and kind I lead you beside streams of water I provide everything that you need he says bright red birds race by fluttering and chittering happy the birds of the field don't worry about what they will wear or what they will eat they have everything they need he turns and looks at you and the kindness and love that you see in his eyes bring tears to yours my beloved child you have everything that you need too. In the next moment, you find yourself back in your soft, warm bed, in your room, in your home, safe, surrounded by peace. I pour out my spirit on people, says the soft voice from above. I bless them with dreams and visions so that they may know my love, my power, so they will remember my desires for them while on this earth, and to remind them that there is so much more to come. 
Will you share the dream I've blessed you with tonight? The sound of your own voice crying yes, yes, fills you. For a second, you wonder where you are. You must have been dreaming. But it felt so real. It was real, whispers God. I made a passionate promise to you when I said, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. You asked me to show you what it was like to experience more of me, and I answered. Now, it is up to you to believe. You're still for a second longer, lingering in God's presence, basking in His love. Dear Heavenly Father, help this dear one sleep peacefully tonight. May you bring sweet comfort. Thank you for revealing yourself in our dreams. May the silence of the night bring revelation and clarity of thought, rising in the morning refreshed, rested. Thank you for your word, your passionate promises. They are a love letter to me, and I am forever grateful. Help me be open to all of your ways, God. Align my will with yours. Help me shine your light into the world. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this Abide Bedtime story. We look forward to spending time with you again tomorrow. Until then, may you abide in Christ. I invite you to rest in the words God said to Moses when he was exhausted, angry, and afraid. God said to Moses, I will be with you. And tonight, as you turn to sleep, he says this to you as well. I will be with you. When God revealed himself to Moses in a burning bush, the place was holy, sacred ground. So God asked Moses to take off his shoes. Here tonight, after you have taken off your shoes and as you turn to sleep, I invite you to also take off your burdens, set them aside trusting that where you are right now God is with you and where God is this is holy ground too so close your eyes allow peace into every part of your body slow your breath breathe in goodness and trust exhale letting go of anxious thoughts breathe in peace and love and then breathe out the day's troubles as you settle into a good night of sleep I invite you to acknowledge the nearness of God no matter how close or distant you have been to Jesus today, turn back into His presence and sink into His love. Father God, as I finish this day, I trust that You desire my company even while I am sleeping. Even while I sleep, you can heal my hurts even while I sleep you can restore my exhausted mind and body 
even while I sleep you can reveal your love to me and fill me with grace and mercy as I have taken off my shoes for bed I take off my burdens and hand them to you I rest knowing that those things that are still unfinished today I trust you will help me with these things tomorrow God speaks the words for you tonight that he spoke to Moses I will be with you he wants these words to burn bright and clear before you like the fire that burned before Moses he wants his words to break through your darkness to penetrate deep into your inner being to grow in you confidence and love God is a blazing fire of goodness warmth and hope yet it is often difficult for us to see him and to hear his faithful words I will be with you these were words that Moses had trouble hearing and trusting too his life before the burning bush had been strange and messy nothing about his life made it obvious that God would choose him to lead his people out of slavery to freedom he was the baby sent down the river in a basket a Hebrew raised in the palace of the Egyptian king Moses was a murderer who hid in the desert if there had been a job opening for hero of the Israelites Moses would not have had a strong resume to our minds Moses was an unlikely leader yet God blesses he embraces he uses unlikely people Moses doubted himself he doubted God too he was lost in the desert in the despair of his terrible mistakes and even still God says to him Moses I will be with you and God will be with you too God is with you your life doesn't need to make sense to you or to others your life can be messy and strange and even still God says to you I will be with you allow these words deeper into your heart and mind I will be with you rehearse this good news in your breath allow the burning fire of God's voice to shine into your darkness by breathing in in saying to your soul God is with me and then also breathing out pray meditate and trust saying again God is with me when I say Moses's life was strange and messy I mean that his life did not move in a nice clear clean straight line his life's journey had many twists and turns many layers of confusion and suffering his mother took a papyrus basket and covered it with tar and pitch so that it would float she placed Moses as a baby inside and set the basket among the reeds of the Nile a wide 
long river. His mother didn't know where the basket would be found. She sent her daughter to follow it as it floated away. It was the Egyptian king's daughter who drew him out of the water. The Egyptian king, the pharaoh, had ordered that all Hebrew baby boys were to be thrown into the Nile. And it was Pharaoh's daughter who drew him out of the water. That is what Moses' name means. Drew him out of the water. How have you been cast into the waters, left to drown? How have you been lost among the reeds, caught in the perilous current of life? How have you been abandoned, thrust out of the safety of home? Jesus says to you, I will be with you. I have been with you. I will not leave you alone. You are named Moses too. You are the one I draw out of the water. I will draw you out of the pit out of the miry clay and set your feet upon a rock you have been in the current of today's dangerous rapid waters call out to God for help allow him to draw you up from the soul numbing currents of busyness rush and self-dependence as you allow yourself to go to sleep give yourself to God's care become God dependent in this story of Moses we have a foreshadowing of what we gain in the waters of baptism the waters that are meant for death turn out to be instead cleansing healing waters yes our enemy prowls around like a roaring lion seeking whom he can devour yes like the Egyptian king our enemy wants to drown you he wants you to be covered by the dangerous waters of life yet through this danger through these very same waters Jesus meets you he reaches out to rescue you he draws you out of death into new life allow these waters to wash you ending a day giving yourself to sleep resting in God's love this is sacred holy precious as you are being washed you are more and more free to be near God to enjoy his presence to trust in his watchful care rest sleep believe allowing these words deeper into your heart and mind I will be with you see the burning bush of God's presence speaking goodness into your heart rehearse this good news in your breath breathing in saying to your soul you are with me and then also breathing out pray meditate 
and trust saying again you are with me Moses's life had been strange messy and confusing when he came of age he began to sort out the things that mattered most to his life he understood in deeper ways that he was an alien and a stranger in the house of Pharaoh he was a Hebrew one of the oppressed benefiting from the riches of the oppressor was troubling how could he enjoy any good thing when his own people were enslaved working tirelessly for the brutal king of Egypt when he saw an Egyptian beating one of his Hebrew brothers one day he was given a chance to prove his identity as an Israelite in a fit of rage and vindication he killed the Egyptian hid the body in the sand and then fled into the desert to hide from Pharaoh's wrath years later Moses had married raised a family and was working for his father-in-law Jethro tending sheep on the backside of Mount Horeb Moses was no doubt content to be removed and hidden from his previous life as the son of Pharaoh's daughter he had no expectation that God had any special plans for his life he had no idea that his life was about to change there on the backside of Mount Horeb this was a wilderness place where God spoke to Moses in a burning bush you likely have not experienced a literal burning bush but you have had some kind of burning bush experience this would be that turning point when you came to accept the truth of God in a way that changed the direction of your life this would be a moment when he especially revealed himself through a person an experience maybe a worship service a time when you were serving someone perhaps a time of prayer or even a powerful sermon something shifted inside of you and you haven't been the same since you might protest here but I haven't taken God as seriously as I should my life hasn't changed that much I still struggle I still don't know how to trust God with my life I continue to resist him each day I live more through my strength than God's love Moses protested too he said who am I that you would speak to me he worried about his weaknesses I can't speak for you I stutter when I open my mouth Moses would drift away from God too he would become impatient and angry with the people he was leading he would continue to struggle with fear and doubt even still God says to Moses I will be with you and God still says to you I will be with you no matter how much doubt or fear that stir inside of you God still says I will be with you no matter how much stubbornness and anger God still says I will be with you once again place yourself before the burning bush of God's presence rest sleep believe these words deeper into your heart and mind 
I will be with you rehearse this good news in your breath breathing in saying to your soul my God is with me and then also breathing out pray meditate and trust saying again my God is with me as we bring this meditation to a close I invite you to consider one more part of Moses's story God instructs Moses to say to Pharaoh let my people go Moses fusses but how can I go back how can I speak for you why would the king of Egypt listen to me God replies tell Pharaoh that I am sent you I am the great I am is with you the great I am sends you he is the true true he is the real real God is being behind and before all other things he is the one by whom everything else in the universe was created he is the one in whom all things hold together and have their being the great I am says to you tonight I am with you I am the being who will always be with you in peace give yourself to sleep rest in God's faithfulness for he alone can make you dwell in safety may the Lord bless you and protect you as you sleep may his face shine upon you like the radiance of a burning bush may he be gracious and kind granting you deep healing sleep may you be filled with peace continue to allow yourself to let go of today by rehearsing in your breathing in and breathing out my God is with me my God is with me my God is with me amen here you are safe you are quiet you're warm it is time to let your mind soften your space with God to not allow yourself to worry about anything now your only task at this very moment is to pay attention to how much God loves you he wants you to relax in him let all expectations melt away place your mind and body your life into God's embrace leave everything in God's hands allow your hands to relax let go of whatever you are holding on to God stretches his hands out towards you through his word in 2nd Chronicles chapter 30 verse 12 his word says the hand of God was also on Judah to give them one heart to do what the king and the princes commanded by the word of the Lord 
Father, may the hand of the Lord watch over this dear one tonight. No safer place exists than right beside you, walking spiritually and by faith, hand in hand with you, Lord Jesus. And Father, we praise you that we are forever safe in your hands and the hands of your Son. Thank you for holding your child in the palm of your hands, protecting, providing, and guiding into your perfect plan for our lives. You know all our needs. You know all our worries and all our weaknesses, yet you still want to be part of our lives. Thank you so very much for your goodness and your kindness. In Jesus' name, Amen. And with that, let's start tonight's story about a little boy on an outing with his mom. Wishing to encourage her young son's progress on the piano, a mother took her boy to a concert by the great pianist Ignacy John Paderewski. He was a Polish pianist, composer, politician, statesman, and a spokesman for Polish independence. The son of a Polish landowner, he studied music from 1872 at the Warsaw Conservatory and from 1878 taught piano there. He was a favorite of concert audiences around the world. His musical fame opened access to diplomacy and the media. Tonight's sleep story is inspired by a poster for a Polish relief event, showing Paderewski encouraging a young Polish boy at the piano. Well, for months, the mother had encouraged her son to practice scales on the older upright piano that she had played as a child. As a matter of fact, three generations had practiced on that very piano. The ivory keys were worn and even darkened by years of wear. Even though there are a few scratches on the vintage piano, it had made its way through the years of playing well-known hymns like Amazing Grace and the Old Rugged Cross, and maybe a honky-tonk tune or two. The mother thought this night would be a wonderful opportunity for her son to see and hear how hard work and practice might pay off. It was drizzling that night. With raincoats on and umbrella in hand, mother and son made their way to the magnificent marble staircase that inclined up to the historic music hall. People of all ages in all walks of life received programs from sharply dressed ushers as they entered the majestic building. Dimly lit chandeliers set the mood for what would surely be a wonderful evening. After they were seated, the mother spotted a friend in the audience and walked down the aisle to greet her. Seizing the chance to explore the wonders of the concert hall, the little boy rose and eventually explored his way through a door marked no admittance. When the house lights dimmed and the concert was about to begin, the mother returned to her seat and discovered that her child was missing. Suddenly, the curtains parted and spotlights focused on the impressive Steinway on stage. The pitch-black grand piano glistened. A radically different sight than the old upright piano in their living room. 
In horror, the mother saw her little boy was sitting at the keyboard, innocently picking out Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. As the child played, legs dangling from the piano bench, members of the audience at first were angered. They had come to hear a concert pianist, not some young boy. At just the moment the crowd tried to jeer the boy off the stage, the great piano master made his entrance, quickly moved to the piano and whispered in the boy's ear, Don't quit. Keep playing. The audience settled down and watched the unexpected moment unfold. Then leaning over, Paderewski reached down with his left hand and began filling a bass part. Soon his right arm reached around the other side of the child and he added a running obbligato. Together, the old master and the young novice transformed a frightening situation into a wonderfully creative experience. The audience was so mesmerized they couldn't recall what else the great master played that night. Only the classic Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. The young boy exited the stage to a standing ovation and rejoined his anxious yet proud mother. That's the way it is with God. What we can accomplish on our own is hardly noteworthy. We try our best, but the results aren't exactly gracefully flowing music. But with the hand of the Master, our life's work truly can be beautiful. Next time you set out to accomplish great feats, listen carefully. You can hear the voice of the Master whispering in your ear, Don't quit. Keep playing. Isaiah 48, 13 says, It was my hand that laid the foundations of the earth, my right hand that spread out the heavens above. When I call out the stars, they all appear in order. Not one of us is truly accomplished. Not one of us has mastered life. Wrong notes are played no matter how hard we concentrate. Our hands grow tired. Our minds are distracted. Our hearts become discouraged. In spite of all your insecurities, tonight, Know that Jesus places his sovereign fingers beside yours and whispers, Don't stop. Keep playing. While you rest, may Jesus accomplish what concerns you. May he make a simple tune in your heart sound like a beautiful medley. Now as you doze into a deeper sleep, feel the comfort of the Master's embrace. May your future be placed in His hand. Feel His loving arms around you. Know that His strong hands are there helping you turn your feeble attempts into true masterpieces. Father, thank you for always keeping your children safe. May your beloved tonight rest assured in the strength of your hands. Surround them constantly with your protection and your favor. May your Holy Spirit Enter at every thought, every dream during this time of sleep. I ask that you would send comfort and support to all those who love you, 
and may this time of sleep refresh and renew and bring readiness for a new day. What a great, great comfort it is to know that you are sovereign, that you are in charge of all that is going on in the world and in our lives. Thank you for being the great composer. Thank you for being our architect in this journey in our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. Imagine you are living during the time of Moses, long before the life of Christ. You and the Israelites are camped out on the east side of the Jordan River. You've had a long day of work. Your muscles are tired. Your bones are too. You want to rest. So you sit down in the green grass and enjoy the cool breeze off the river. It's refreshing on your skin. You take in the scents too, the smell of moisture in the air, the aroma of wildflowers, the fragrance of trees blooming. You also marvel at the beautiful sun to the west. It's slowly setting over the promised land that you and your people will soon occupy. The sunset is a mixture of orange and red and yellow. A small cloud dancing in front of the sun makes the colors even more stunning. It's as if God himself has painted this picture just for you and your friends to enjoy. Overhead, you gaze at perhaps the darkest blue sky you have ever seen. As you relax in the grass, you hear voices approaching. They're filled with laughter and joy. Most of the voices are those of children, but one of them sounds familiar. You turn around. It's Moses leading a group of children. At 120 years old, he looks amazing. He is walking carefully with a staff, talking to the children along the way. You've heard that his eyesight is still great and that he is as strong as ever. In a few days, Joshua will lead you and the people to the promised land. But for now, Moses is still leading the Israelites. And right now, he's talking to the children, answering every question they have. He's smiling, enjoying the interaction. So, you begin to listen. What did manna taste like? One child asks. It tasted like wafers made with honey, Moses answers. Another child speaks up. Did the burning bush really not burn up? No, it really didn't, Moses responds, laughing. Then, one of the children asks a question that piques your interest. Moses, who made God? No one made God, Moses answers. God has always existed. Throughout all generations, God 
has been our home before the mountains were born he gave birth to the earth and the world from beginning to end he is God we are merely dust we are mortal but God is spirit he always has been he is the everlasting God to him a thousand years is like a few hours as Moses finishes talking to the children you look up to the sky it's darker now and the heavens are filling with stars there's too many to count there are hundreds of them no there's thousands perhaps tens or hundreds of thousands a beautiful crescent moon is hanging in the sky you are drawn to prayer and worship Thirty minutes have passed. The nighttime air is cool and calm. The children have left, but Moses has remained, enjoying the warmth of a small fire someone made for him. You're about thirty feet away. Sparks from the embers leap toward the heavens. The sounds of the burning wood hopping and crackling fill the quiet nighttime air it's the most relaxing sound you've heard all day the sky is dark the heavens are putting on an incredible show from one horizon to the other you gaze at the big dipper you find the constellation Orion you locate the Pleiades suddenly a meteor a shooting star races through the sky then you hear Moses sing it's a familiar song a tune your people sang after God delivered them out of Egypt you quietly join with him singing the Lord is my strength and my defense he has become my salvation he is my God and I will praise him my father's God and I will exalt him the Lord is a warrior the Lord is his name who among the gods is like you Lord who is like you majestic in holiness awesome in glory working wonders the Lord reigns forever and ever the fire is still going strong but Moses puts another piece of wood on it you marvel at his strength and stamina at such an old age a few more sparks from the fire soar upward you meditate on one of the verses from the song the Lord reigns forever and ever you repeat it several times quietly the Lord reigns forever and ever the Lord reigns forever and ever 
the Lord reigns forever and ever the thought brings you comfort this world is not your home you are merely passing through the worries and cares of the day are temporary you will live with God forever it's hard to fathom but deep down you know it's true you will live with God forever unlike the people and livestock and trees all around you the Lord will never die he's a forever God and he will never leave you Moses puts another piece of wood on the fire you watch him look to the star-filled sky he stretches out his arms and prays Lord through all the generations you have been our home before the mountains were born before you gave birth to the earth and the world from beginning to end you are God you turn people back to dust saying return to dust you mortals for you a thousand years are as a passing day as brief as a few night hours Moses's prayer brings you peace and comfort you meditate on his prayer God is your salvation he saved his people out of Egypt he displayed grace and mercy when they disobeyed throughout the generations he has been your home before the mountains were born God was there before the earth and the world were created he loved you from beginning to end he is God to him a thousand years is like a few hours God has always existed everything around you had a beginning but not God he had no beginning it's a concept you don't understand but you accept God isn't constrained by time he's not constrained by space he is an eternal God you look at the dark sky once again the crescent moon is setting in the West but in the East a bright star more impressive than anything in the sky is rising across the heavens thousands of stars continue to twinkle as if they're worshiping too you're in awe another shooting star darts across the western horizon you think to yourself the God who created this masterpiece created me the God who created this loves me the God who made this watches over me and that thought 
leads you to recite Moses' prayer. Lord, through all the generations, you have been our home before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world. From beginning to end, you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, Return to dust, you mortals. For you, a thousand years are as a passing day, as brief as a few night hours. God is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the everlasting God. Before the universe was made, God had a plan for your life. He's always been there for you. He's your home, and He will never leave you. You will live with Him forever. The things of this world are passing away. But God and His kingdom will last forever. And you will live with Him. He is your source of peace and comfort and relaxation and sleep. Let me pray for you. Dear God, you are the eternal God. I am in awe of you. Before time began, you had a plan for this child's life. Father, I ask that you will help them relax. I ask that you will grant them rest. Bless them with pleasant and peaceful dreams. Help them to know that you are protecting and guarding them. Help them sleep. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Remember, before the mountains were born, before God gave birth to the earth and the world, He had a plan for your life. Dear one, you are in God's arms. Accept His peace now. Relax in His presence. Abide in His comfort. Sleep throughout the night, knowing that the God of the universe is watching over you.